Chapter 2261 Take care of calamity coming from the mouth that person didn't even have time to summon his manifestation or use his spiritual yuan. However, his reaction speed was very quick. He ignored Long Chen's attack and sent a kick to the injury on Long Chen's thigh. Although Long Chen had attacked first, an arm was shorter than a leg. Furthermore, this person could lean back while kicking, allowing him to strike first before getting punched. This person was clearly an experienced fighter. Regretfully, before his foot could reach Long Chen, a sharp point of lightning shot out of Long Chen's fist, piercing his head. His body stiffened, and then he collapsed on the ground, dead. Everything happened in the blink of an eye. Long Chen had attacked without any warning, and there hadn't even been any fluctuations when he used his thunder force. Long Chen's thunder force and flame energy weren't his own. With just a thought, Lai Long could cooperate with him. Hence, at such a short distance, that person was killed instantly. Everyone was silent. Long Chen had actually killed someone from the true divine families. Die. After a moment of startled silence, Yi Ben Chang attacked. His sword slashed toward Long Chen, and his manifestation appeared. People were horrified by his manifestation. It was also a heaven soul manifestation, and he was an expert with awakened spirit blood. Yi Ben Chang's summoning of his manifestation and attack with his sword were completed in almost an instant. None of the other experts were able to enter their battle state this quickly. Boom. Long Chen was prepared, and he directly summoned his divine ring and battle armor. Evil Moon appeared to parry the attack, but a cracking sound rang out as Long Chen's arms broke. He was sent flying back. Gu Yang, Li Qi, and Song Mingyuan hastily caught him, only to find that it was like they were trying to catch a shooting star. They all coughed up a mouthful of blood and tumbled back. Yi Ben Chang's power contained its own terrifying law. Although he was just a third step nether passage expert, his death energy was unblockable. Death energy swirled within Long Chen's body. As for Gu Yang and the others, they were also affected. Their faces turned ashen, with a ball of death chi appearing on their foreheads. Just as people were shocked by Yi Ben Chang's power, a dagger cut across his throat. But Yi Ben Chang's reactions were too quick. His sword knocked that dagger back along with a figure that appeared in midair. Dong Mingaya was sent flying, but her manifestation shook and the death chi was wiped away. As a divine daughter, she possessed god energy, which was able to wipe away Yi Ben Chang's death energy. Courting death, Yi Ben Chang was shocked and infuriated at having his neck cut. Just now, he had just been a bit away from having his head leave his body. He raised his sword. However, before he could attack, Another sword blocked it. Shen Chen Feng had stopped him. Shen Chen Feng, you dare to block me, demanded Yi Ben Chang. Yi Ben Chang, your Yi family has gone too far. Flames of fury raged in Shen Chen Feng's eyes. Shen Chen Feng, you're just a dog of the Long family with an outsider's name. Do you think you're qualified to lecture me? Today, I'll slaughter all these ants that blasphemed the divine families. What power do you have to stop me? sneered Yi Ben Chang. Long Chen stood up. Chu Yao and Lu Ruiyan were about to pour their life energy into his body, but they were waved off by Long Chen. In order to kill the Golden Horned Blood Expert, he had been injured by a fourth step Nether Passage Expert. Although he had managed to kill his target, he had paid an immense price. As for Yi Ben Chang, perhaps it was because his spirit blood was awakened, but his death energy was particularly powerful. It was no longer a kind of energy, but a kind of law. That kind of death energy wasn't something that Chu Yao and Lu Ruiyan could erase unless they first advanced to the Nether Passage realm and awakened their spirit blood. Fortunately, the primal chaos space contained the Yun Yang Immortal Grass. It was able to absorb this law. Yi Ben Chang's death energy was not at all inferior to the power that the fourth step Nether Passage Blood Races expert had left in his body. Based on Long Chen's estimates, third step nether passage experts like Yi Ben Chang and Shen Chen Feng were not inferior to ordinary fourth step nether passage experts. At the very least, with me present, you aren't qualified to run amok, said Shen Chen Feng coldly. Ha ha ha, you, stop me, you don't have that ability, sneered Yi Ben Chang. Shen Chen Feng glared at him, I'm very clear on your abilities, if it weren't for your connections within the Yi family. 
Do you think you'd be the seventh commander of the Heavenly Dragon Legion? If you're confused by what I'm saying, I don't mind using this as an excuse to cut you down. If you don't believe me, you can come and try it. The two of them looked at each other. The dozens of experts that Ji Ben Chang had brought with him slowly took out their swords. Only half the experts that Shen Chen Feng had brought kept watch over the battlefield. The other half were standing right behind Shen Chen Feng, and they all took out their swords. Killing intent filled the air, so dense that the Martial Heaven Continent's experts didn't dare to make a sound. They didn't know what was happening. Why would the Divine Families be fighting each other? Shen Chen Feng, you're relying on numbers? I don't believe you'd dare to do this, taunted Yi Ben Chang. You can try it. To tell the truth, I've found you disagreeable for a long time. I'd advise you not to keep provoking my desire to kill you, said Shen Chen Feng. Yi Ben Chang's expression was dark. He had only brought a few people. If they did fight, he would definitely be at a disadvantage. I didn't think that this place would be so lively. Seventh Commander, you're quite enthusiastic. Did you come over to help? Just as the two of them were deadlocked, an ancient voice rang out and a thin elder walked over. Upon seeing that elder, Shen Chen Feng, Yi Ben Chang, and the other experts of the Divine Families hastily bowed. Greetings, Elder Long. This elder was precisely the Long Family's Heaven Elder, the one who had discussed things with Long Chen. I was worried that the Dragonblood Legion wouldn't be reliable, so I came over to take a look. I didn't expect that I would arrive just in time to see the Dragonblood Legion's defenses collapse. I had to stop the blood race. Who would have thought that the Dragonblood Legion would then curse and attack me for saving the Martial Heaven Continent? Long Chen even killed my trusted deputy. I asked that Elder Long find justice over this matter, shouted Yi Ben Chang. You, Gu Yang was enraged and about to curse him when Long Chen stopped him. Yi Ben Chang's intentions were already all too clear. There was no point in talking reason with him. Oh, there was such a thing? Long Chen, did such a thing happen? Elder Long looked at Long Chen. Yes, Long Chen indifferently spat out a word, looking at Elder Long calmly. He didn't even feel like saying more than a word. Elder Long, you've seen it now. Long Chen has admitted to it. This disciple proposes that Long Chen be arrested and brought to my Yi family to handle. After all, the person he killed was a member of the Yi family, said Yi Ben Chang. Elder Long didn't even look at him. He continued to look at Long Chen. Why did you kill someone? Because he wanted to kill my brother, said Long Chen indifferently. What bullshit. Your brother didn't even die, but you killed my deputy shouted Yi Ben Chang. If my brother had died, then I wouldn't have just killed one person. I would make all of you accompany him, said Long Chen, turning to look at Yi Ben Chang. Ha 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 ha, how arrogant. Elder Long, as you can see, this person cannot be depended on. He doesn't even care about the divine families. If such a person were led into the Starfield divine world, don't you think it would be like letting a wolf loose amongst a flock of sheep? How could the resources of the Starfield Divine World be wasted on such trash? Yi Ben Chang laughed. Hearing this, people saw some clues. It seemed that Yi Ben Chang was targeting Long Chen because of the Starfield Divine World. They had heard that if Long Chen could accomplish his mission, he would win a spot for everyone in the Dragonblood Legion to enter the Starfield Divine World. Apparently. That was a sacred world that Nether Passage experts would dream of entering. This matter was actually so important that the Divine Families were fighting amongst themselves about it? Then based on your opinion, Elder Long turned back to Yi Ben Chang with a faint smile. Based on my opinion, we cannot allow trash like Long Chen to enter the Starfield Divine World. The resources of the Divine Families can't be wasted on them. Especially since they have no respect for the Divine Family said Yi Ben Chang. Based on your opinion, the matters of the Divine Families are for you to decide, said Elder Long before he finished speaking. I, Yi Ben Chang was instantly at a loss for words. He was just an Earth Elder. How could he be qualified? Elder Long continued smiling. Since you can't, what is the point of saying all these things? You should find someone qualified to make decisions to do the talking. Also, as an elder, I'd advise you not to have such a toxic mouth. After all, wounds from blades can heal quickly, but the hatred raised by bad words doesn't fade.
Be careful of a loose tongue causing trouble. Elder Long, disciple, Yi Benchang tried to speak, only to have Elder Long wave his hand. Helplessly, Yi Benchang could only leave with his people. Before leaving, he didn't forget to glance at Long Chen, his gaze one of disdain. I really want to kill him. If I can't kill him, I want to have kill him at least. Guo Ran ground his teeth. It's fine. There will definitely be a chance, said Long Chen indifferently, for Yi Benchang to target him like this. Although Long Chen's expression was calm, inside, his killing intent was surging. He wanted to play? Fine. He'd play him to death. Chapter 2262 Elder Long's Warning Long Chen. I apologize. However, you don't need to worry about one thing. What should be yours will definitely belong to you, said Elder Long. Well, I find myself lacking confidence in your words. I don't know whose word in the divine families counts. I don't want to be played by others. Long Chen's expression was still dark. Elder Long didn't get angry. Switching to spiritually speaking, he said, that's not the important thing. What is important is that you and your Dragonblood Legion need the Starfield Divine World, and we need you. The Martial Heaven Continent needs you. The weak are devoured by the strong. This is an unshackable principle at any level. You're a smart person, so you know how this can benefit you. You should be aware of whether this cooperation hurts or helps you. Long Chen narrowed his eyes. I understand. Good. I'm sure you're all tired, so you should go rest. Long Chen nodded. He didn't directly rest. Instead, the first thing he did was arrange the Golden Horned Blood Expert's head in the original location of the Sovereign Seal. Long Chen didn't say anything, but his actions said everything. Everyone knew that he was using that head as an offering to the Sovereign. The divine might of the Sovereigns could not be blasphemed. That scene made the Righteous Path's countless experts clench their fists tightly. This golden horned blood expert had insulted the sovereign, calling him a dead ghost, that had infuriated them. With his head now hanging there, they were filled with gratitude toward Long Chen. He had charged into the yin yang world and exchanged blows with the fourth step nether passage expert to do this. The danger was unimaginable. Only after the head was properly arranged did the dragon blood legion leave, going to the martial heaven alliance's side. But just before they left, Rumbling rang out from deep within the ground. That was Xia Chen destroying the marks of his formation. The formation had been ruined by Yi Ben Chang, but there were still some secrets within its remnants that couldn't be exposed to others. Those secrets would only let their enemies get an advantage over them. Hence, Xia Chen was erasing those secrets so that even if others did investigate, they wouldn't find any valuable information. You foolish child, what am I supposed to tell you? Why are the two of you as stubborn as donkeys seeing Long Chen covered in blood, with an injury so deep that she could see bone? Ku Jin Ying shook her head regretfully. After coming out of the Yun Yang world covered in wounds, he had then been attacked by Yi Ben Chang, worsening his condition. The death chi on his forehead was much denser now. Men Chi and Chu Yao were holding his arms to support him. They were all distressed about his condition. That's just my character. I won't be able to change it in this lifetime. Long Chen smiled. Knowing that Ku Jin Ying sincerely viewed him as her own child she had to take care of. That was why despite disagreeing with many of the things that she had done, he still respected her. After all, they were family. HMPH. If you hadn't stopped me, I would have killed that Yi Ben Chang. The old man was also furious at seeing his family's child being injured so badly. If Ku Jin Ying and the others hadn't held on to him, he definitely would have gone after Yi Ben Chang. Upon seeing Long Chen up close, his rage was further provoked. He felt like he was unable to help his own child that was being bullied. No, Yi Ben Chang is mine. Don't fight over him with me, or I won't be able to expel my fury, said Long Chen. Fortunately, the old man hadn't attacked. If he had, then it would have been troublesome. After all, the old man's age was already getting up there. Although his realm was high, his blood chi had started to decay, while Yi Ben Chang had awakened his spirit blood. If the old man was injured, it would be very dangerous. If the old man wasn't able to beat Yi Ben Chang normally, then he would definitely use the ninth form of split the heavens in a suicidal attack. Exchanging his life for Yi Ben Chang's was not worth it. 
Long Chen embraced the responsibility for this matter. This was his target for vengeance. That way, the old man could forget about this. Long Chen truly understood the old man. The old man's temper was more violent than his, and he couldn't hold back anything in his heart. Long Chen, don't do anything stupid. Yi Ben Chang has awakened his spirit blood and connected with his manifestation. As a third step nether passage expert, his power rivals a fourth step nether passage expert. Without entering the nether passage realm, you cannot attack him. After all, he's a member of the divine families. His foundation is unimaginable, warned Ku Jinying. She was worried about Long Chen being just like the old man and not having any restraint. Alliance head, I completely understand. Long Chen nodded. Just as Long Chen received Ku Jinying's warning, Elder Long turned to Shen Chen Feng. Elder Long, the Yi family goes too far. What were they doing here? Demanded Shen Chen Feng. You are still lacking. Just now, you had such a good chance. Why didn't you attack? Elder Long shook his head at Shen Chen Feng. Elder Long, you. Shen Chen Feng was startled. It seemed that Elder Long had wanted him to eliminate Yi Ben Chang. Although you aren't surnamed Long, you are still a member of the Long family. In terms of position, you are not inferior to Yi Ben Chang. He insulted you like that in that kind of scenario. Even if you killed him. So what? Even if you were punished in the end, would they demand your life? After a bit of punishment, you would have won your own dignity and glory to your 8th legion. Would that not be worth it? Sigh. I really thought that some of Long Chen's temper would rub off on you. But, Elder Long shook his head, disappointed. Shen Chen Feng just stared at him, not knowing how to respond. Child, I've watched you grow up. Tell me, if Yi Ben Chang killed your deputy, what would you do? Asked Elder Long. Disciple would do anything to crush him said Shen Chen Feng without hesitation. Then if you beat him, would you dare to kill him? Well, Shen Chen Feng stumbled. He dared to beat Yi Ben Chang as badly as possible, but as for killing him, that wasn't possible. Yi Ben Chang was the commander of the 7th Legion. His ranking was higher than his. Look at Long Chen. Someone targeted his subordinate, but that subordinate wasn't injured at all. What was Long Chen's response? A man must know when to assume responsibility. If you rely on intelligence to resolve everything, you'll lose your courage. Without that courage, you might be able to be a strategist, but you won't be able to be a leader. As the commander of the 8th Legion, you are in command of a hundred thousand warriors of the Heavenly Dragon Legion. There have been many times where you didn't lack intelligence, but lacked ruthlessness and daring. On the other hand, Yi Ben Chang will use any contemptible means to achieve his goals. It might make him look like an idiot, but he has set up his position very well, said Elder Long meaningfully. His position, Shen Chen Feng muttered to himself. Elder Long nodded. Yes, his position. He has set himself up as the Yi family's sharp sword. He does whatever the Yi family wants him to do. If something happens as a result of his actions, the Yi family will handle it. That is why even though he did such a thing to the Dragonblood Legion, he will survive. Just because someone doesn't have a brain doesn't mean that they don't possess killing power. You have a brain but are put into a vexed state of being at your wit's end because of someone like him? Rather than the manner that you do things, the more important thing is the result. If you achieve the right result, then even if you use the most childish, idiotic method to achieve it, it will be fine. That is because they want that result. As for the process, it will be forgotten quickly. Results are merits. Results are history. As for the process, no one cares. Even if it was despicable, if the result is favorable, people can choose to have selective memory over their accomplishments. You consider too many things in your thought process. You had an absolute advantage but were still insulted and didn't dare to attack. The result is that your 8th Legion was given a mental blow. Do you not see the anger and humiliation in your warrior's eyes? They were just waiting for an order from you. Even if they had to die, they wouldn't have frowned. They would rather be humiliated than allow you to be bullied. Not just because you are their commander, but because you are their soul, their faith. Perhaps you are considering an even further result and overlooked the closer result. Although people say that those who don't think about the future will soon find suffering. If you can't even handle the things in the present, 
What is the point of looking into the future? If you can't even see the pits beneath your feet, then even if you're looking toward a grand mountain, it is still nothing but an unattainable dream. Shen Chen Feng suddenly understood Elder Long's meaning. He had to be tougher, more ruthless. Even if he caused a calamity, someone would handle it for him. Disciple understands. Shen Chen Feng nodded. If he had known this before, he would have directly killed Yi Ben Chang. You missed one chance, but there will be more. You don't need to force it. As a person, you must be bold and scrupulous. You must understand the situation. The Long family has endured it for many years, and we're not enduring it any longer. Chen Feng, I cannot say some things to you too explicitly. You need to open your own eyes, see your own truth. Taking a loss isn't bad. It is the price of growth. What would be worse is focusing so much on steadiness that you don't dare to make mistakes. If you lose the heart that dares to take risks, then you would have reached the end of your martial path, warned Elder Long. Shen Chen Feng's heart shook. It seemed that he really had changed greatly after becoming a commander. His Dao heart had gradually lost its aim. It was no wonder his realm had not advanced at all in the past few years. Instead, it had shown signs of regressing. He began to sweat. Many thanks for Elder Long's warning. Disciple understands. Shen Chen Feng bowed deeply. Make sure to look after Long Chen. Elder Long looked over at Long Chen. Seeming to indicate something. Chapter 2263 Competing Geniuses Elder Long left. As for the Divine Family's army, they slowly retreated, leaving behind giant ballisti to stand guard. Those ballisti were even larger than the Blood Race's Siege War Chariots. They set up 180 ballisti, although they had yet to be activated. Just the pressure exuding from them made people's hearts shudder. Everyone. The Blood Race's main army has retreated. However, their auxiliary forces will continue to cause trouble. Most of them are low-ranking races, but they also contain Immemorial Essence Blood. If you want the Immemorial Essence Blood, you can enter the Yin Yang world and kill the Blood Race's experts for it. However, the inside of the Yin Yang world has 4th Step Nether Passage experts standing guard over it. Due to the sovereign will that has yet to fully scatter, they don't dare to come over. That is why your movements must be limited to the nearby surroundings. Or if you go too deep and a fourth step nether passage expert attacks you, no one will be coming to save you. It doesn't matter what your age or cultivation base is. Anyone may enter the battlefield. However, if I were to make a personal suggestion, I would advise all life star experts to join in. The battle against the enemy races is truly cruel. You must maintain your sharpness and experience in battle if you wish to become a true expert. You all saw the Dragonblood Legion's power. Even in the same realm, with the same cultivation base, they are incredibly powerful. You can consider how great the difference is yourselves. Alright, that's all I have to say. I will leave things to you now. You don't need to worry. The Heavenly Dragon Legion will be standing guard here. And if the Blood Race's main forces make a move, we will handle it. After the arrangements were complete, Shen Chen Feng made an announcement to the Martial Heaven Continent's forces. After failing to gain control over the exit for three days, and with the young king of the Golden Horned Blood Race killed, the Blood Race had suffered an immense setback to their morale. Most likely, they would not be making a big move in the short term. Instead, they would order the low-ranking races to exhaust their enemies over time. This was the best chance for the talented youngsters of the various powers to temper themselves. As for the Heavenly Dragon Legion, they were all Nether Passage experts, and killing these low-ranking members of the Blood Race was meaningless to them. The various powers thanked Shen Chen Feng and began to enter the battlefield. The Martial Heaven Alliance, Pill Valley, the Xuan Beasts, the Ancient Family Alliance, and the Ancient Races all sent people into the Yun Yang world. At this time, the Blood Race's experts were still rushing toward this area from every direction. But it truly was as Shen Chen Feng said. The high-ranking races were not amongst them. However, occasionally, some of the devoured soul black armor cores would appear. The various powers occupied their own defensive points. Even the Pill Fairy, Kun Pengzi, Tian Zizi, Dongfang Yuyang, Nangong Zuyu, Bidang Rushuang, Zeman Shiangsheng and Di Feng were focused on setting up defenses first. Although they were powerful, 
the others weren't as powerful as them. It was time for them to show their qualities as leaders. If they only looked after themselves, the disciples following them would be in danger. In the end, those disciples might be killed until only the peak experts remained. However, the likes of the Pill Fairy, Kun Penzi, and Tian Zizi were not natural leaders. They only relied on their immense power to lead people. On the other hand, Nangong Zuiyu and Bidang Rushuang managed to form a complete formation with their forces, which allowed them to quickly get used to the battlefield. As the other experts were still testing things out, they had led their troops into battle. As for the Martial Heaven Alliance's side, they had the most disciples, and directing them was very difficult. Fortunately, Yi Lingxian had come prepared. She had 18 trusted aides beneath her called the 18 Iron Guards. They were the people she trusted the most. The 18 of them also had 10 subordinates each to better control the entire group. This system was something borrowed from the Dragonblood Legion. The Dragonblood Legion didn't keep many secrets from Yi Lingxian. She had asked for some pointers from Xia Chen and Guo Ran when it came to commanding troops in a formation, and the two of them had helped her. Xia Chen had even made a special formation for her capable of holding hundreds of thousands of experts. However, the more people that were part of the formation, the more difficult it was to control it. If one person was in the wrong position, it would cause a chain reaction. For a group of a few hundred thousand people to link together in a formation, although they had drilled it countless times, there were still many mistakes occurring. So even as the other powers began to move out, the Martial Heaven Alliance's side was still disordered. After an incense stick's worth of time, they were still stuck, let alone killing their enemies. They were in a mess. Yi Lingxian began to sweat. First start from the One Dragon Rush formation just as Yi Lingxian was unaware where the problem lay. Long Chen sent her a message. The One Dragon Rush formation was the simplest one that required almost no skill. Yi Lingxian naturally knew of it, but such a formation was child's play to these people. She didn't want others to laugh at the Martial Heaven Alliance for using such a low-level formation. However, she trusted Long Chen. Since he said such a thing, she directly gave the order. The One Dragon Rush formation was a straight dragon-shaped formation that was like an arrow shooting forward. Once they charged forward to a certain point, the dragon head would become the dragon tail, and the tail would become the new head. Then the charge would go in the opposite direction. It was the most basic of all formations. To the Martial Heaven Alliance's disciples, this formation could not be simpler. As they began to charge back and forth, the disciples gradually got used to it. Long Chen continued, There is a huge difference between practice and actually using the formation. Don't expect the same results in training to manifest on the battlefield. After charging ten times, switch to the dual dragon rush formation. Then the cross kill formation, the scissor formation, the crane wing formation, the phoenix soar formation. Long Chen rattled off the names of over 10 formations. They started off simple and gradually grew more complicated. To jump onto a roof was very difficult for an ordinary person, but if they had a ladder, it would be much easier. Long Chen was giving them a step by step process to get used to the battlefield. What happened during practice and what happened on the actual battlefield were two completely different concepts. If you taught someone how to swim on land and then tossed them into the water, 9 out of 10 would drown. Yi Lingxian was thinking too simply about using the formation. Not everyone was able to fearlessly face their opponents. Who wouldn't get nervous? Who wouldn't get worried when facing death? Who was willing to risk their own life for the people beside them? Trust needed to be built over time. It couldn't be forced with a kick. Based on Long Chen's experience, as time passed, these disciples would be able to put down their fear and nervousness. Then the power of the formation would gradually show itself. Battle formations required meticulous cooperation between their members. They required making up for other people's weaknesses to increase the overall potential of the formation. In some cases, the cooperation between members was so perfect that 1 plus 1 equaled 3. However, if the cooperation was bad, then it would be more like 10 plus 10 equals 2. If others were just holding each other back, it would be worse than if they were fighting on their own. With so many people, one person's mistake would lead to a chain reaction. In training, 
that mistake could be singled out and quickly adjusted. On the battlefield though, they were facing the sinister blood races experts and the devoured soul black armor cores. Not everyone could enter such a perfect state to face them fearlessly. Even in the simplest formation, there were people making mistakes, resulting in injuries. Even with Mo Nian standing in the sky and saving any areas with troubles, the disciples were still unsteady. There were too many mistakes, so wasn't able to help them all on his own. However, after they gradually got used to it, the mistakes started to lessen. Mo Nian was entirely able to keep up with this tempo, and as the injuries and casualties lessened, their confidence grew. The power of the formation gradually manifested. As the power of the formation increased, everyone's cooperation fell into line. Their killing efficiency continuously grew, allowing Yi Lingxin to sigh in relief. She couldn't help feeling ashamed at her immaturity, but she also understood that Long Chen had been leading the Dragon Blood Legion from the start. Although he wasn't a formation master, he knew many principles. That wasn't something that she could compare to. There was nothing she could do about that now except continue to gain experience. Once she did, she was confident in properly leading her troops. The Martial Heaven Alliance's side had started off with an efficiency far lower than the other powers, but as time passed, they began to spread out as much as they could and then go deeper. If they spread any further, they would affect the other powers. Due to the Heavenly Divine Writ, they were unable to fight amongst themselves. As for pressing forward, no one had pushed very far in yet. Yi Lingxin was the first to let her forces deeper in. There was no need to fight over what the others had. Now that the disciples were familiar with using the formation, there was no need to stay in one spot. Senior Apprentice Sister Lingxin, we've already gathered 58 VATs of essence blood, reported one of the 18 Iron Guards excitedly. Before everyone had entered the Yin Yang world, they had prepared special divine items to gather the essence blood. That was why they were all maintaining a respectful distance from each other. If their divine items stole the essence blood from the others, it would cause a conflict. That little bit is nothing compared to what the Dragon Blood Legion got. Don't get too satisfied. Let the junior brothers and sisters control the tempo. We'll need to kill even more enemies to show the world that the Martial Heaven Alliance is deserving of the name of the continent's number one alliance, said Yi Lingxin. Yes, with Yi Lingxin's guidance, the Martial Heaven Alliance entered a fully battle-ready state. They switched to stronger formations gradually, increasing their efficiency. The expression of Pill Valley, the Corrupt Path, the Ancient Family Alliance, the Ancient Races, and the Xuan Beast's experts twisted slightly. The Martial Heaven Alliance was starting to move out, but on their sides, their ordinary disciples were holding them back. Kingsuan, go and fight by yourself. You'll kill more enemies like that. Yu Ziaoyan finally couldn't hold back any longer. Chapter 2264 The most terrifying existence The Pill Fairy left her group on her own, going deeper into the battlefield. Eighteen flame phoenixes shot out of her like meteorites exploding amongst the blood race. However, the Pill Fairy did not take out the inverse Tao Water Spirit Flame. That was because its power was too great, and it would incinerate the essence blood of these low-ranking races. If she used it, she wouldn't be able to gain much immemorial essence blood. The flame that she used was a white one. Although it was much weaker, it was more than enough to slaughter these weaker races. Once the Pill Fairy went out, Tian Zizi, Kun Pengzi, Di Fang, Dong Fang Yuyang, Zeman Shiangsheng, Nangong Zuayu, Bidang Rushuang, and the other peak experts also made a move. After all, this was a rare chance to compete over immemorial essence blood. The timing was also important, as they were about to advance to the Nether Passage realm. If they got the immemorial essence blood now, many people would be able to use it. This was their best chance to strengthen their group. Yi Benchang's attack had shown everyone the difference between having awakened their spirit blood and not. Those like the Pill Fairy and the others were so powerful that they could ignore ordinary third step Nether Passage experts, but not someone like Yi Benchang who had been powerful enough to send Long Chen flying. Although Long Chen had been heavily injured before being struck, it had still been shocking. Two people in the third step Nether Passage realm could have vastly different power levels. At the same time, 
they saw how powerful the heavenly dragon Legion was. There was an immense difference between them and the nether passage experts of the continent. Although they hadn't awakened their manifestations, their power was still a level higher. Within the same realm, an expert of the martial heaven continent wouldn't necessarily even be able to last three exchanges against one of them. That was the difference in foundations. The divine families were terrifying. If these geniuses didn't do their best to increase their power now, they would be forced to obey their orders. Although the divine families had only expressed that they would lead this battle and work together with everyone else for the continent's safety, that kind of favor wasn't good. So this immense opportunity could not be missed. With the top experts of the continent making their move, everyone's attention was concentrated on them. So the stories are true. Defung really did awaken the Blood Emperor's manifestation right now. The only ones fighting were the junior generation. The seniors had only helped out at the beginning to stabilize the formation. Afterward, they just stood aside to watch. Defung had charged out, and in the process, had summoned a manifestation. This was a double manifestation, with the Blood Emperor's image now within his original manifestation. With that unique energy, Defung caused heaven and earth to shake with just a wave of his hand. He didn't even summon his three divine items. On the battlefield, his slaughter of the blood race was the most intense. This is an intentional display of his power to Long Chen. With a single punch, the earth was torn asunder. With the slam of a foot, the void shattered. Every one of Defeng's moves was simple and relaxed, indicating that he was far from using his full power. But his power shocked everyone. Defung was acting much more high profile than the likes of the Pill Fairy and the others. Occasionally, he would glance toward Long Chen with a sneer. This truly was a taunt, and a very clear one at that. If you want to compete against my boss, then go charge into the depths of the Yun Yang world and kill one of the Blood Race's kings in front of a fourth step Nether Passage expert, shouted Guo Ran. Defeng's expression twisted, but he quickly returned to normal, sneering. Tell the blood race to send out another king and I'll easily slay him. As for Long Chen, if it weren't for the heavenly divine writ, I'd have been the first to challenge him. Di Feng was confident. It seemed that he truly did no longer view Long Chen as a match for him. With his double manifestation, he had put on a display that was no weaker than Long Chen's. This rat bastard. Guo Ran clenched his teeth. Di Feng was truly vile. He had only reached this level by relying on a woman. He is very powerful, but don't get tricked by his idiotic display. He's crafty. He's doing this to antagonize us. Di Long, I really underestimated you. Di Feng and Shu Aluich's marriage was a trap. Their goal was her manifestation and spirit blood, said Long Chen. But can a manifestation and spirit blood really be taken? Demanded Guo Ran. Long Chen merely smiled slightly. His spirit blood, spirit root, and spirit bone had been taken. He was the best example. However, he had no proof. This was just a guess. If such a thing had happened to him, then perhaps some unknown secret art had occurred between Di Feng and Shu Aluacha during their copulation. To have two manifestations was an extremely rare thing in the cultivation world. There had been such existences within legends. But legends were just legends. No one could verify their authenticity. Just from Di Long's crafty smile. It was definitely his scheme. Gu Yang glanced at Di Long, who was putting on an indifferent look. He had managed to trick many people. Before this, he had acted violent and easy to enrage, when in reality, he was quite the schemer. At the very least, Long Chen no longer underestimated him. On the other hand, Mo Nian's pretty reserved. Why isn't he going out? Tang Wan'er looked at Mo Nian curiously. He was still silently protecting the Martial Heaven Alliance. Perhaps he hasn't given up on Yi Lingxin? What a rude fellow. Doesn't he know he shouldn't covet a friend's wife? Said Lu Ruian lightly, intentionally glancing at Long Chen. Long Chen's expression darkened. Don't talk nonsense. I have no such relationship with Yi Lingxin. Seeing his dark expression, Chu Yao hastily said. Ruian was just joking. Right? Ruian. Yi Lingxin is the current head of the Martial Heaven Alliance. Don't make jokes about her. What a petty man. I must have misspoken. My apologies. An apology was quite rare from the stubborn Lu Ruian. 
Long Chen took a deep breath and calmed himself down. Perhaps his injuries had worsened his temper. After calming down, he said, Yi Lingxin has given her everything for the Martial Heaven Alliance. Perhaps her talent and power are inferior to my own, but she has willingly picked up this heavy burden and is working hard every day to improve herself. That is why she possesses her own powerful charisma and her own loyal warriors who will follow her into death. Countless disciples dream of marrying her, but she is now the mental pillar of the Martial Heaven Alliance. She has already given her life to the Martial Heaven Alliance and cannot marry anyone else. So this joke really isn't appropriate, especially when it includes me. If others were to spread that joke, it would cause the hearts of the Martial Heaven Alliance to fall. I also apologize for overreacting. I have yet to expel the death energy in my body, so my mental state isn't very good. All right, all right, let's just not talk about this in the future. Long Chen, can we really not help you heal your wounds? Chu Ya smoothed things over. Long Chen bitterly smiled. I'm pretty angry about it myself. My luck is amazing. I didn't encounter one fourth step nether passage expert, but three. I almost died. Hearing that, everyone turned pale. They hadn't thought that it had been three fourth step nether passage experts. Fortunately, I had the lightning domains dragon king block them for me, said Long Chen. Only after Long Chen had killed the golden horned blood expert did he learn that those three old fellows were the latter's protectors. It was just that due to the sovereign aura, they didn't dare to step onto the battlefield. They had been forced to stay behind. When Long Chen had chased after his target, they had hidden themselves until their king had been unable to hold on any longer. Then they suddenly appeared to cut Long Chen off. He had been prepared for such a thing and had kept Lai Long active behind him the entire time. Hence, he instantly connected to the lightning field and summoned the Dragon King. The Dragon King was truly powerful and had managed to block the attack of the three Nether Passage experts. But then it exhausted all its energy and was forced to retreat Novaloon.com however, by that time, Long Chen had managed to capture their king, and using him as a shield, he had managed to leave. At that time, he had been quite courteous. He hadn't even taken his whole hostage back. He had left most of the Golden Horned Blood Expert's body with them, taking only his head. As a result, he had seen Yi Benchang's deputy attack Xia Chen. He had naturally killed that deputy, but then Yi Benchang's attack had worsened Long Chen's injuries. Then what are you going to do? With your terrible condition, why didn't Elder Long help you? Asked Meng Chi. He wanted to, but I didn't want to owe him a favor. I can handle it myself, but it will take some time. It's not like I have anything to do right now. We should all be taking this time to heal. How is wild? Asked Long Chen. He's gone unconscious from hunger. Clouds feeding him, answered Chu Yao. As she said, Wild was lying in the distance, unconscious. However, if something entered his mouth, he instinctively chewed and swallowed it. Hence, Cloud was feeding him large chunks of meat. It shouldn't be a problem. Once his body had enough energy, he would wake up naturally. Then he could eat for himself. Boss. It seems that Dong Fang Yuang has received quite the setback after the last beating. His power has sharply dropped, said Xia Chen as he watched the battlefield. Long Chen shook his head, a serious look appearing on his face. You've misjudged him. That fellow is the most terrifying existence amongst all of them. Chapter 2265 A 37-year-old supreme expert what everyone was startled by Long Chen's words. Dong Fang Yuang was still powerful but was now much inferior to Nangong Zuayu, Bidang Rushuang, and Zeman Shiangsheng, let alone divine daughters and divine sons like the Pill Fairy and Tian Zizi. If he was compared to Di Fang, the difference between them would be described as the difference between heaven and earth. Although Dong Fang Yuang's expression was unchanged, he was clearly increasing the tempo of his attacks. However, his killing efficiency remained far below the others. He's hiding his power, asked Meng Chi. No, there's no way. Dong Fang Yuang was put in his place by the sea demon race. They slapped his face repeatedly and caused his reputation to plummet. This is his chance to put on a good show and win back some face. At the very least, he should try to be above average. But his current display isn't even as good as some of the experts of the neutral factions, said Guo Ran. 
There were many experts amongst the neutral factions as well, but they were more low-key. At this time though, some of them had begun to make their moves. After all, this was related to immemorial essence blood. Some experts who were suspected to have awakened their spirit blood also appeared. Their displays were very powerful, and not at all inferior to Dong Fang Yuyang. Dong Fang Yuyang has given me an extremely dangerous feeling from the start, but I've never been able to pinpoint what exactly about him is so dangerous. He schemes deeply and doesn't display much hatred when he sees me. Last time, when he was beaten to the point of almost being bedeviled, I feel like he was faking it. I want everyone to be careful around him. If I get a chance, I'll try to test him, said Long Chen. Long Chen was extremely confident in his spiritual perception. With the nine-star hegemon body art, his sense of danger was extremely strong. He had never been mistaken. As for why Dong Fang Yuyang would rather have others look down on him and have the Dong Fang family's morale plummet instead of using his full power, Long Chen had no idea. Xia Chen, how were our gains? asked Long Chen. Not one member of the Dragonblood Legion had died this time, but almost everyone had been injured. Some people's injuries were so severe that they needed to rest for a long time. The one who had taken the most losses was Meng Qi. All her magical beasts had died in the end. After all, their intelligence was too low, and they were unruly. They didn't perfectly listen to orders. When surrounded, they could only rely on brute power, and so they couldn't survive very long in that kind of group battle. Hence, Long Chen was hoping to cheer people up with the talk of their gains. We have over 30 pools of essence blood, said Xia Chen. That amount delighted them. The battle toward the end had resulted in high rank races appearing. Those races possessed a higher quality essence blood. However, don't get too excited. Much of the essence blood belongs to the devoured soul black armor cores. Their essence blood is useless. There's also the essence blood of the explosive bull bull monsters. After taking them into account, I'd say there are around 15 pools worth, said Xia Chen. Then why didn't you say 15 from the start? You say over 30 and then cut that by half? Xia Chen. Are you trying to toy with us? Gu Yang bitterly smiled. That's not bad though. At least half the Dragon Blood Legion should have enough to awaken their spirit blood, said Li Qi. Long Chen shook his head. Sorry brothers, but I'll have to give you a blow. Due to cultivating the Dragon Blood Body Tempering Art, you'll need several times the immemorial essence blood that others in the same realm do. The saying that 10 drops of immemorial essence blood are enough for someone to have a high chance of awakening their spirit blood only refers to ordinary Empyreans, and it still isn't a guarantee. You should be mentally prepared everyone felt a chill. After cultivating the dragon blood body tempering art, their own bodies had gone through a change that even they couldn't explain. Even their manifestations were identical. There was no way to explain that with the Martial Heaven Continent's cultivation principles. Boss, how much immemorial essence blood will we need? Asked Guo Ran. Based on my estimates, at the very least, we'll need ten times more than other people. Ten times. Everyone gasped. That amount was enough to cause despair. Just how many of the blood races experts would they need to kill in order to refine that much immemorial essence blood? Every drop of immemorial essence blood was incredibly precious. Don't panic. We'll only need it in the nether passage realm. So there's still some time. Furthermore, hasn't the dragon blood legion managed to get through many difficulties already? Who cares about some essence blood? Comforted Long Chen. The dragon blood warriors smiled with him. That was true. While following Long Chen, their path had been one of creating miracle after miracle. Perhaps others couldn't do something, but the Dragonblood Legion could. Long Chen, do you feel better just as they were talking? Shen Chen Feng walked over. Thank you for your concern, Commander Shen. This little injury isn't enough to take my life. Long Chen smiled, not being hostile or friendly. About Shen Chen Feng, Long Chen didn't feel much one way or another. When Yi Ben Chang had attacked, Shen Chen Feng had been called a dog by him but he still hadn't dared to kill Yi Ben Chang. Long Chen felt him to be too cowardly. Shen Chen Feng helplessly said, I truly didn't handle things well today, causing you to feel wronged. However, in terms of position, Yi Ben Chang is the seventh commander, while I'm the eighth. 
his position is a bit higher than mine. For Shen Chen Feng to actually apologize was unexpected. Long Chen had been feeling dissatisfied with Shen Chen Feng's conduct. After all, he was in charge of this battlefield but had allowed Yi Ben Chang to charge in and ruin the Dragonblood Legion's formation. He had responsibility for this, of course. From Yi Ben Chang's arrogant display, it could be seen that the interior of the Divine Families was extremely complicated, and Shen Chen Feng was truly helpless. Adding on this apology, Long Chen didn't feel good trying to make him feel worse. Long Chen was never in the habit of leaving his life in other people's hands. Complaining wasn't his style. Then you mean to say that the Heavenly Dragon Legion has eight commanders, and you are the lowest ranking? Asked Long Chen. He patted the seat beside him. Shen Chen Feng cupped his fists and sat on the beast hide beside Long Chen. He nodded. Correct. The Heavenly Dragon Legion has 800,000 members, with each commander in charge of 100,000 people. They are ranked according to power. We truly are the bottom ranking. The Dragonblood Warriors were quite startled to hear that the Heavenly Dragon Legion possessed 800,000 members. That was 800,000 Nether Passage experts. The Heavenly Dragon Legion's power was extremely shocking. They had taken control over the entire battlefield in an instant. At that time, the Dragonblood Legion had only been able to bitterly hold on, but to them, crushing those enemies had been easy. That was a terrifying Legion, but the 8th Legion was actually ranked last? Then just how powerful was the 1st Legion? The Dragonblood Legion was called the Martial Heaven Continent's number 1 Legion, but compared to the Heavenly Dragon Legion, they appeared incredibly weak. You don't need to be surprised. When we were in the Life Star Realm, we weren't necessarily stronger than you. My subordinates are all full of praise for your display, said Shen Chen Feng. The Dragonblood Legion's display had truly amazed the Heavenly Dragon Legion's warriors. What shocked them wasn't their power, but the undefeatable will possessed by every Dragonblood warrior, as well as their absolute trust in each other. For over 12,000 people to unite their hearts like this was essentially a kind of miracle. Commander Shen. May I ask if Yi Yeochen and Yi Benchang are on the same side? Asked Long Chen after being silent for a while. This related to the secrets of the divine families. Even if he asked, Shen Chen Feng might not answer, but he still wanted to know. Unexpectedly though, Shen Chen Feng didn't hesitate. They belong to one family, the Yi family. However, Yi Yeochen is the youngest heaven elder of the divine families. At just the age of 37. He is already a fourth step Nether Passage expert. What all of them were startled. At 37, he was already a fourth step Nether Passage expert? What kind of monsters was he? On the Martial Heaven continent, the only one known to be a fourth step Nether Passage expert was Daoist Heavenly Feather. She could only be described as ancient, and all the experts of the continent were her juniors. As for third step Nether Passage experts, Practically all of them were over a thousand years old or even more. Even the youngest one had to be a few centuries old. 37 years old. A fourth step Nether Passage expert. That even shocked Long Chen. Brother Shen. Can you tell me why they are targeting me? Asked Long Chen. Chapter 2266 Respite from the Blood Race to tell the truth. I really don't know. But even if I knew, I wouldn't necessarily be able to say. I'm also very curious why the Yi family is targeting you. I asked Elder Long, but he didn't answer me, said Shen Chen Feng. Long Chen nodded. It seemed that Shen Chen Feng really didn't know. Hence, he didn't continue pressing him. After Elder Long had left, he felt that Shen Chen Feng had begun treating him better. Long Chen could clearly feel that Shen Chen Feng's guard against him had dropped. After chatting for a bit, Shen Chen Feng left to allow Long Chen to focus on healing. Once he was healed, he could enter the battlefield as well to gather immemorial essence blood. Watching as Shen Chen Feng left, Chu Yao guardedly wondered, Is Shen Chen Feng trying to pull us in? Most likely. Or perhaps I should say that the divine families want to use us. The Yi family is targeting us. Perhaps as a show of power to the faction that Elder Long comes from. As for Elder Long. He's trying to help us. We've become a chess piece utilized between the two factions, said Long Chen. Isn't it going too far to use us? Demanded Guo Ran irritably. 
What's too far about it? They have no duty to help us. We have something they need. And they have something we need. At the very least, up to this point, it's been profitable for us. If their goal wasn't clear, I'd feel much more worried. We're still too weak compared to the divine families. However, we have our own advantages and trump cards. What we lack right now can be made up with time and opportunities, said Long Chen. Seeing the fighting, he clenched his fists. It wasn't just the divine families, Pill Valley, the Corrupt Path, the Ancient Family Alliance, the Xuan Beasts, and the others that were powerful. Many unknown powers were still hiding their trump cards. Who knew when they would reveal themselves? They were still waiting for the right timing and chance. Right now, the only way that Long Chen could get the most benefit was from working together with Elder Long. Of course, those benefits lay within immense danger. The Dragon Blood Legion continued to rest. On the battlefield, experts occasionally died. When one of the Martial Heaven Alliance's experts was killed, their corpse was fought over by the Blood Race. Some of them would even slaughter each other to grab the corpse. The Blood Race wanted complete bodies from humans. That way, they could gather the root chi within their danshan. Meanwhile, the Martial Heaven Alliance's experts wanted the Blood Race's essence blood. The human race's corpses were treasures to the Blood Race. When one appeared, the surrounding experts of the Blood Race would fight over it in a horrifying manner. As time passed, more and more casualties began to appear on both sides. The Blood Race's experts seemed to be endless. The only force able to maintain a zero casualty count against them was the Dragon Blood Legion. All the various powers took casualties. That was unavoidable. The weak were washed out in this cruel battle. As for the seniors, they were clenching their fists, afraid of seeing the ones they favored being the next to fall. This was a cruel battle, but worry did not stop the cruelty. Seeing the corpses of their juniors taken away by the blood race, they were enraged. But there was nothing they could do. Even if they did charge into the battlefield to help, what would happen in the future? These juniors were the pillars of this world. If they didn't accept this cruelty of battle, then even more of them would die in the future. When those disciples died, people couldn't help thinking of the Dragon Blood Legion's zero casualty count. Behind that miracle lay an unknown amount of blood and fire. The Dragon Blood Legion had endured the grinding of battle after battle to become a sharp blade. If these experts wanted to be that sharp as well, they needed to be tempered by this battle. A portion of them would definitely be ground to dust. Some of the seniors regretted pampering their disciples and keeping them close. If they had let them go earlier, allowing them to experience their own blood and fire trials, perhaps they would be stronger and more likely to survive. The Righteous Paths experts in particular had quite a few people crying bitterly upon seeing the disciples falling one by one. Battle was simply this cruel. Seeing the people they loved have their lives mercilessly stripped from them while they could only watch was the cruelest torment. In this vast battle, the Corrupt Path's power was shown. They had the least casualties as the Corrupt Path's experts were fearless toward death. Perhaps the only thing that they were afraid of in this world was the Dragon Blood Legion. More and more casualties appeared, but the ones remaining grew stronger and stronger. The Martial Heaven Alliance's disciples also continued to work better together, increasing their killing power. Under Yi Lingxian's guidance, their formations continued to grow stronger, allowing them to slaughter the blood race. Although Yi Lingxian didn't go out on her own, the Martial Heaven Alliance still had the highest killing efficiency on the battlefield. Suddenly, a towering willow tree appeared its roots digging into the battlefield. It cut out its own domain of death for itself. Luruian was an undying willow, and although the battle before had been very exhausting, her yin-yang energy recovered very quickly. Even though the rest of the Dragon Blood Legion was resting and focusing on recovering, she was already ready to fight again. Luruian needed a huge amount of immemorial essence blood for her own advancement, and with her stubbornness, she would rather earn it herself rather than take the Dragon Blood Legion's resources. Her branches were like swords cutting through the Blood Race's experts. The roots were like dragons sweeping across the land. These low ranking races were completely unable to threaten her. The second to enter the battlefield was Chu Yao. As a wood cultivator, she had massive stores of spiritual yuan and recovered quickly. Chu Yao and Lu Ruian joined forces. 
creating a giant land of death for the blood race. Fortunately, the battlefield was large enough that even as everyone fought for themselves, they didn't disturb anyone else. The Dragonblood warriors who had recovered joined in one by one. Xia Chen was sent to Yi Lingxian's side. He directed the formation, increasing their killing efficiency once more while reducing casualties. The Dragonblood warriors formed their own killing formations as they slaughtered their enemies. Even while fighting, they were recovering because this level of battle was nothing to them. Seven days later, the numbers of the blood race began to diminish. In the end, they stopped charging toward the Martial Heaven continent, instead stopping in the depths of the Yin-Yang world. With the blood race retreating, the Martial Heaven continent side didn't dare to charge in. If they went past the range of the Sovereign Aura, they would be attacked by Fourth Step Nether Passage experts. That was no different than suicide. Seeing the blood race retreat, the Martial Heaven continent's experts also retreated, returning to the Martial Heaven continent. It seems that the blood race has switched strategies. They've used up their useless cannon fodder. The next attack might only come after a long wait, said Long Chen. His injuries had healed. Even the injuries left behind by a fourth step nether passage expert could be resolved by the Yun Yang Immortal Grass. Is the blood race going to unleash a crazy assault like at the start once more? Then we can get more essence blood, said Guo Ran, rubbing his fist. Long Chen shook his head. The sovereign's will has yet to dissipate. They might be waiting for that. Then their fourth step nether passage experts will be able to attack. And the martial heaven continent side might not have enough power to stop them. How long will it take for the sovereign's will to dissipate? Guo Ran and the others were alarmed. If fourth step nether passage experts suddenly attacked, then they would no longer be able to fight on the battlefield. Elder Long said that it should last for a few more months but no one can say what day exactly. So this time is also the best for everyone to break through to the Nether Passage realm, said Long Chen. Inside, Long Chen was shocked that the Sovereign's will could last this long. The Sovereign Seal had been broken by others, but even the Remnant will was enough to give the Martial Heaven Alliance time to breathe. The Martial Heaven Continent's experts needed this time that the Sovereign had won for them. They had to break through to the Nether Passage realm. The Sovereign had clearly died ages ago, and yet it seemed that everything had been within his predictions. He had left this hope to the continent. If that was a coincidence, then it was far too coincidental. If it wasn't a coincidence, then how could the Sovereign have known that such a thing would happen? Just what kind of existence was a Sovereign? As Long Chen had said, the blood race retreated. No one knew what they were doing, and no one dared to probe them. Going over there would be sending themselves to their deaths. The divine families also said not to go, as taking this risk was meaningless. As a result, the various powers returned to their homes. The young warriors once more focused on comprehending the essence of life and death. Some of them already felt the bottleneck weakening for them, and they prepared to make their breakthroughs. As for the seniors, they began refining the essence blood. When their Empyrean disciples advanced to the Nether Passage realm, they could use the immemorial essence blood. Long Chen said goodbye to Ku Jinying, Bidang Rushuang, Nangong Zuayu, and the others and returned to the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race. He announced that everyone was to go into seclusion, and his orders were that they all had to comprehend life and death before coming out. That was because time was running out. Chapter 2267 Heading into the depths of the Yun Yang world after returning to the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race, everyone, including Long Chen, entered seclusion. Lu Ruyan activated her Yun Yang energy, unleashing rays of light that enveloped the Dragonblood warriors. Within that divine light, they were able to sense the transformations of Yun and Yang, which embodied the cycle of life and death. This battle had been extremely dangerous. They had been right on the line between life and death. However, because of it, all their accumulated comprehension grew, and the seed began to sprout thanks to Lu Ruyan's help. It was as Long Chen had predicted. The reason that most people didn't manage to reach the necessary level of comprehension was because they lacked that true feeling of being right next to death. However, all their previous comprehension was just as important. Comprehending life and death could be likened to growing a plant. 
their previous comprehension was plowing and fertilizing the earth as a foundation. Then, their life and death battle against the blood race had become the spark that allowed the dormant seed to grow. With more nourishment, it began to sprout. Of course, those were all things that Meng Qi, Chu Yao, Gu Yang, and the others felt. Long Chen didn't feel any such thing. Long Chen found that the Nine Star Hegemon body art was completely different from all the continent's cultivation techniques. It was also different from the Dragon Blood Body Tempering Art. The Dragon Blood Legion's Dragon Blood Body Tempering Art caused the Dragon Blood Warrior's original cultivation techniques to be wiped away. That aspect was something that shocked even Long Chen. The Dragon Blood Body Tempering Art was extremely domineering. For the Martial Heaven Continent's experts, switching out cultivation techniques was a very normal thing. Those cultivation techniques were like fertile soil, while magical arts were various vegetation. The stronger the cultivation technique, the greater the potential of the magical arts. Many cultivators first started out with lower quality cultivation techniques due to their own limited circumstances. The best cultivation techniques were within the hands of the large powers. As a result, as disciples climbed up, they constantly switched out their cultivation techniques for better ones. Normally, every switch would take a few months to get used to. However, the Dragon Blood Body Tempering Art had essentially erased the Dragon Blood Warrior's old cultivation techniques. There was no remnant of them. From that, it could only be said that the Dragon Blood Body Tempering Art was far stronger than any of their cultivation techniques. It was like a beggar had been brought into the royal family. While the beggar had wanted to bring some of its old things, the royal family had forcibly thrown them all out, down to the beggar's very clothes. That was an indication to the Dragon Blood Body Tempering Arts class. This was a cultivation technique that came from a mysterious dragon expert. It had wiped away the old heaven class cultivation techniques of the Dragon Blood Warriors, leaving not even a trace of them. However, this terrifying cultivation technique still required comprehending life and death to advance to the Nether Passage realm. Just like all other cultivation techniques, only the Nine Star Hegemon body art was completely unaffected by it. When Long Chen reached the 12th heaven stage of Life Star, he could already feel the next level. He didn't need to comprehend anything. He could just accumulate energy through eating pills and directly break through. Although the Nine Star Hegemon body art took up a ridiculous amount of resources, in the same vein, it had its own heaven-defying abilities. Long Chen didn't encounter bottlenecks like other people. As everyone else focused on comprehending life and death, Long Chen busied himself with eating pills. After reaching the 12th heaven stage during the Qi flow eruption, he hadn't consumed more pills. He had even stopped eating the Nethergate pills. That was because after the star had formed, no matter how many pills he ate, he was unable to undergo the first star transformation. Once the Nethergate star had reached a certain level, it was like a cup of water that was full, and no matter how he tried to add to it, it simply overflowed. This was something he had never encountered before with the Nine Star Hegemon body art. The only thing he could do was conclude that it had something to do with his current realm. Of course. This was just a guess. He would have to test out this theory when he advanced. Since he couldn't undergo the nine star transformations now, he had to wait until he advanced into the Nether Passage realm. As he consumed life star pills, he got closer and closer to the peak of 12th heaven stage. The majority of the Dragon Blood Warriors had also touched the barrier and were ready to make their breakthrough. However, Long Chen wanted everyone to advance together. So they were still waiting for some warriors that hadn't felt the barrier yet. After considering all his options, Long Chen decided to take a trip to the Yun Yang world. That made Meng Qi and the others jump. Long Chen, entering the Yun Yang world is too dangerous at this time. Without the protection of the sovereign's will, you won't be able to handle their fourth step Nether Passage experts, said Meng Qi. I know, it truly is very dangerous, but Little Snow is still there. I want to see how little snow is, said Long Chen. Hearing that, everyone fell silent. They all knew how Long Chen felt about little snow. No matter how they tried to advise him, he wouldn't change his mind over this. I'll go with big brother Long Chen, announced Dong Mingyu. Yes, that's good. 
Little sister Yuer is an assassin with unparalleled aura concealing arts. She's the best one to go with you, Meng Chi nodded. Dong Mingaya was the most terrifying assassin of the martial heaven continent, with her beside Long Chen. Then even if they encountered a fourth step nether passage expert, they should be able to escape. Furthermore, Dong Mingayu specialized in stealth. Perhaps the two of them really would be able to slip past the blood race's army. All right, then I'll go with you er. Everyone, work hard. I hope that everyone will be touching the barrier when I get back. That way, we can all break through at the same time. Long Chen left with Dong Mingayu, arriving at the Yun Yang world. When the heavenly dragon Legion's warriors saw him, they all greeted him. Although Long Chen was just a life star expert, his combat prowess was outstanding. Adding on his domineering conduct, he had won their profound respect. Moreover, when he had killed Yi Ben Chang's deputy right in front of him, that had been especially amazing. Experts respected the strong. Where is Commander Shen? asked Long Chen. Long Chen found that only Shen Chen Feng's warriors were present. He himself was gone. Commander Shen has returned to the ancient battlefield. To tell the truth, this current battle against the blood race is child's play to us. We won't gain any merit fighting here, which signifies that we aren't getting any resources, said one of the warriors directly. One of the older warriors coughed, causing that first warrior to say, Long Chen isn't an outsider, so these aren't secrets. If we don't do anything meritorious, we won't get paid. And without more resources, we can't strengthen the Legion. As for those bastards from the 7th Legion, cough, those fellows are still racking up merit on their battlefield. In order to not let us fall behind, the commander has gone off with other brothers to the ancient battlefield, leaving us to guard here. That made Long Chen realize that the interior of the Heavenly Dragon Legion was full of intense competition. By standing guard over here, the 8th Legion was sacrificing their own precious time. Seeing that there was no danger here, Shen Chen Feng had left to continue competing with the other legions, leaving behind only 10,000 people. As for what those merits they were competing over were, Long Chen didn't ask too much about them. Using the heads of enemies to exchange for merits was quite common. Merit points could be exchanged for weapons, cultivation techniques, and other treasures that increased their power. Ever since he had joined the Zhuanshan Monastery, he had come into contact with similar rules. They were very understandable. When reward and punishment were clear, they became the foundation on which any power could grow. It's been hard on you. The Dragonblood Legion will remember the Eighth Legion's favor, said Long Chen. Long Chen said this favor was to the Eighth Legion, not the Divine Families. It was because he still wasn't familiar with their situation over there. Since the 8th Legion was the one guarding them, he viewed it as a favor to them. The Martial Heaven Continent's geniuses all needed to thank them for ensuring that they could cultivate in peace. The goal of the Divine Families was still unclear, but at least up to now, the Martial Heaven Continent had benefited immensely. Brother Long, you have come here too, asked one of the warriors. I want to enter the Yun Yang world and see if I can dredge up some useful information. That's too dangerous. There are fourth step nether passage experts inside. Only the commander is able to face them. As for the two of you, Long Chen's heart shook. Although he guessed that the likes of Shen Chen Feng and Yi Ben Chang had the power of fourth step nether passage experts, hearing it personally from this warrior was still shocking. It seemed that getting vengeance for that attack from Yi Ben Chang would be a bit troublesome. It's fine. We're just going to take a look. If it doesn't work out, we'll retreat. We definitely won't fight them head on, said Long Chen. Seeing how much Long Chen wished to enter, there was nothing that they could say. After a moment's hesitation, one of them took out an arrow. If brother Long Chen encounters any danger, unleash this arrow. If you are within a certain range, we will go all out to save you. But if you're too far, we really won't be able to do anything. Long Chen received the arrow and cupped his fists. Many thanks. After that. Long Chen and Dong Mingyu entered the Yun Yang world, slowly walking into its depths. Chapter 2268 Gathering of the Blood Race Big Brother Long Chen It seems that these warriors of the Heavenly Dragon Legion like you, perhaps we can have another alley in the future, said Dong Mingyu, the 8th Legion. 
from its commander Shen Chen Fen to its regular warriors, all seemed to treat Long Chen with respect. They were an extremely powerful legion. If they could have such an ally, Long Chen would have even more support. Long Chen smiled and didn't say anything. Using the concealing art that Dong Mingyu had taught him, he continued pressing on. What? Did I say something wrong? Asked Dong Mingyu upon seeing his expression. Long Chen sighed. Although you are the most outstanding assassin, you don't quite understand people's hearts. Perhaps this is why assassins must maintain a state of emotionless indifference. The Heavenly Dragon Legion is different from the Dragon Blood Legion. They don't have their own thoughts. I don't understand. Dong Mingyu frowned. Long Chen explained. The Heavenly Dragon Legion's warriors are soldiers. Soldiers have to listen to orders. In other words, it doesn't matter what orders come from up above. They still have to carry them out. It doesn't matter if those orders are right or wrong. Carrying them out is their only choice. Although you can tell they've gone through the baptism of blood and fire, they remain weapons under someone else's control. Although they might respect me and treat me well, if the divine families were to give them the order to kill me, then perhaps without a moment of hesitation, they would raise their butcher's blades against me. Really? I don't think so. Actually, the other powers are the same. For example, the corrupt path, Pill Valley, the Xuan beasts, the ancient races, and the Blood Kill Hall. Their disciples are all raised as weapons. Those disciples are their soldiers, and soldiers can't have their own thoughts, or they would be a double-sided weapon. To control them, you have to constantly brainwash them and instill them with controlling beliefs. Either there are people they must get vengeance on, or the gods' orders demand it. Their minds grow rigid as a result. They lose their ability to differentiate between right and wrong. Hearing that, Dong Mingyu understood. Big Brother Long Chen, I recalled the gods' baptism countless times while I was in the Blood Kill Hall. Those baptisms didn't contain any god energy. It just contained the aura of the god to make people submit. Using that, they controlled people, teaching us about the killing god and how we had to follow everything the killing god arranged. They used the god's name to turn people into killing puppets. Long Chen nodded. Perhaps this is why when I mentioned the killing god and the corrupt god to Sovereign Yun Shang, he had such a strange expression at that time. Sovereign Yun Shang had smiled oddly. It seemed that he felt a kind of disdain toward gods, but he didn't say anything about it. Could it be that gods are all con men? Asked Dong Mingyu. Don't lump them all together. At the very least, I like the Huai Insects Wealth God and the Wine God Palace's Wine God. Just look at their followers. They're all happy and blessed. Their God never asked them to do anything. The God even silently invested in them, without asking for anything in return. Long Chen's whole body suddenly trembled, making Dong Mingyu jump. What is it? Nothing. Long Chen waved his hand, indicating to her not to worry. In truth. His heart was pounding wildly. It seemed that he had thought of the crux of the problem. The killing god. The corrupt god. Lord Brahma. Fallen day night. These gods. What was their goal in controlling their followers? When he had said that certain gods didn't ask for anything in return. He had suddenly thought of this. Gods were existences far above them. Why would they control these ant-like existences like them? What secrets lay within this? As he considered. The two of them stealthily walked out of the battlefield. They were no longer protected by the sovereign's will. As a result, Long Chen had no choice but to brush aside his questions and focus. Big brother Long Chen, don't be nervous. The aura concealing art that I taught you is very powerful. As long as you don't expose your killing intent and don't look at people's eyes, then no one other than a fourth step nether passage expert would be able to sense us. Transmitted Dong Mingyu. At this time, Dong Mingyu held Long Chen's hand. Ripples spread from their bodies, concealing the two of them in midair. I'm just worried about implicating you. It's about being exposed and ruining your reputation as the number one assassin. Joked Long Chen. Dong Mingyu was at the front right now. Her aura concealing art enveloped Long Chen. As long as he kept his aura on the same frequency as Dong Mingyu's, it was much easier to keep himself hidden. He. Who cares about such a thing? Big Brother Long Chen, your cultivation technique is very powerful. Even this divine level concealing art can be utilized by it. 
But it seems that your cultivation technique is a bit too powerful. You need to control your emotions. Otherwise, with just the slightest killing intent, you'll be exposed, said Dong Mingyu. When Long Chen had asked her to teach him her concealing arts, she had only transmitted some simple ones. As long as Long Chen could control his aura, she could help conceal him. As a result, Long Chen had easily mastered those concealing arts. Long Chen was able to control techniques from multiple fields, and that made him a genius amongst geniuses. At that time, Dong Mingyu was stunned. If she didn't know Long Chen, she would have suspected that he was an outstanding assassin. She had directly tried to teach him the aura concealing art taught to her by the killing god. Only then did she realize that Long Chen's cultivation technique was incredibly powerful. Even the divine level aura concealing art could be utilized. This aura concealing art she had received from the killing god didn't just require talent. It required a corresponding cultivation technique. However, Long Chen was still able to use it. In truth, she had just been teasing him when she had tried to teach him this technique. After all, she was still a child. However, when she found that Long Chen really had learned it, she finally realized the problem. Long Chen's cultivation technique was so powerful that it was able to use this divine level or a concealing art. However, there were drawbacks as well. If Long Chen's emotions fluctuated too strongly, this aura concealing art wouldn't be able to hide him. I'll pay attention. I won't let myself get too emotional. Long Chen nodded. This aura concealing art was purely a technical magical art. Learning it wasn't difficult, but using it in practice was difficult. To be like Dong Mingyu would be as difficult as ascending the heavens. The nine star hegemon body art was too domineering. Using it to use this gentle aura concealing art was like having a giant of immense power take out eggs one by one from a chicken nest without cracking them. Knowing himself, Long Chen did his best to maintain a clear mind and heart, suppressing all fluctuations. He left the rest to Dong Mingyu. After half an incense stick's worth of time, Long Chen saw the blood races garrison. However, there weren't any hidden sentries like he had expected. It seemed that the blood race truly viewed the martial heaven continents experts as sheep for the slaughter. They weren't afraid of an attack. That made sense. Without the protection of the sovereign's aura, how could the martial heaven continent launch an attack? The only known fourth step nether passage expert on the continent was Daoist Heavenly Feather. As for the blood race, they had at least three fourth step nether passage experts that Long Chen knew of. The difference in their peak combat power was immense. As the two of them passed through the cracks between their garrisons, Long Chen felt his heart tremble. There were countless garrisons set up, all of them giant. From a great distance, they looked as vast as the stars in the sky. There was no end to them. Big Brother Long Chen, the blood races experts are slowly gathering. These are all high-ranking members. They're waiting for the sovereign's will to fade away. Based on the current scale, the next attack might be a hundred times greater than the last. They're determined to get through no matter the price, said Dong Mingyu. Long Chen nodded. This was just as he had predicted. There would be no testing attacks this time. When the next attack came, it would be like a clap of thunder, seeking to blast through all opposition. Last time, there had only been three high-ranking races in the attack. This time, in just an incense stick's worth of time walking, Long Chen saw over ten different high-ranking races all of them with stronger auras than the blue ring blood race, the stone blood race, and the golden horn blood race. The most shocking thing was that he sensed auras that made his heart tremble. There were some terrifying existences amongst these garrisons. Those auras weren't fourth step nether passage experts. His guess was that they were similar young kings of the blood race like the golden horn blood expert. Their auras were a bit similar, but these auras were stronger and more reserved. As the two of them slowly walked past this area, rumbling rang out ahead of them. A giant blood sword pierced into the sky. What's going on over there? Startled, the two of them rushed over to that streak of sword light. Chapter 2269 The Blood Race's Divine Fetus Long Chen and Dong Mingyu carefully crept past the Blood Race's garrisons and then rushed deeper into the Yun Yang world. It took them a full incense stick's worth of time to get out of the garrisons. Standing atop a tall mountain, 
they saw an endless torrent of blood race experts charging over to one area. At the center of that area were two people fighting intensely. Both of them were supreme experts. One of them belonged to the blood race, while the other wore strange robes. There was blue light coming from his eyes, and his hair was left long and wild. Although he looked a bit odd, he was definitely a human. Who is he? His manifestation and spirit blood are both fully awakened. He can't be a nameless person, but why don't we recognize him? Dong Mingaya was startled. Die. The blue-eyed man suddenly let out a cry, and his fist smashed apart the blood race expert's fist, extending claws and gripping his opponent's throat. The blood race expert's expression completely changed, and he didn't dare to move. With just a thought, the blue-eyed man could kill him. He's very powerful. Dong Mingyu's pupils shrank. This blood race expert didn't seem much weaker to the golden horned blood expert that Long Chen had killed, but he had been captured alive. Long Chen was also started. The blue-eyed man seemed to have runes flicker in his eyes the moment he attacked, but due to the great distance, Long Chen could only guess that he had used some kind of special pupil art to throw off the blood race expert. It was a curious move. This is the third. According to our agreement, I've won. You have to honor your promise and release me to the Blue Heart Continent, said the blue-eyed man coldly his, hand tied around the blood race expert's throat. It seemed that he had an agreement with the blood race. That's right. You've won. You're free. You can go, said one of the blood race's elders. Long Chen immediately recognized his voice. This was one of the three fourth-step nether passage experts that had tried to stop him. However, Long Chen didn't dare to look due to focusing on the aura concealing art. If Long Chen looked at him directly, he might very easily be sensed. Dong Mingyu smiled and tightened her hold on Long Chen's hand. Long Chen slowly closed his eyes, and through the senses that Dong Mingyu shared with him, he saw the elder. He truly was one of the experts that had surrounded Long Chen back then. If it hadn't been for the Lightning Domain's Dragon King coming out, Long Chen would have lost his life. However, unexpectedly, there were now seven elders, seven fourth-step nether passage experts. Long Chen's hair stood on end. If they were noticed, they would be doomed. It was a good thing that he had absolute confidence in Dong Mingyu's aura concealing arts. As long as they maintained a safe distance, the odds of being noticed were very low. Blood-colored shackles fell from the blue-eyed man's wrists, ankles, and neck. His aura instantly grew explosively. The blood race always follows its word. You can leave, said that fourth-step nether passage expert. Many thanks. The blue-eyed man warily began to retreat. Suddenly, he coughed up a mouthful of blood. His expression completely changed. You, despicable. Blood-colored runes covered his body as he trembled. Like a fractured vase. Cracks spread across his body. We've agreed to our promise and released you. We also gave you freedom from the blood soul chains. How is that despicable? The fourth step nether passage expert laughed sinisterly. Bastards. You did this to me. When the chains break. I. The blue eyed man coughed up more blood. Pieces of his body began to fall off. After he died. Some of the blood races experts handled his corpse. They held various storage tools. Leave behind the root chi. Take his spirit blood. Spirit bone and soul bone to the divine fetus, said the fourth step nether passage expert indifferently. Those people quickly finished up, and a cage was pulled over. In it, a large man covered in fury roared like a beast. You garbage blood race, release me. I'll smash you to pulp. The large man crazily smashed his cage, but there were countless divine runes on the cage that made his struggles meaningless. All he did was make noise. Another expert with awakened spirit blood. Long Chen sucked in a cold gasp of air. The strangest thing was that he didn't recognize experts on this level. Big Brother Long Chen. Do you think they come from other worlds? Wondered Dong Mingyu. If it was just one expert on this level, then it was possible that they wouldn't recognize him. But two? Furthermore, their auras did seem to be quite a bit different than the humans of the Martial Heaven continent. It's very likely. Long Chen nodded, agreeing with Dong Mingyu's guess. Brat, calm down. As long as you can defeat three of the blood race's warriors, we will release you from the blood soul chains. The blood race always follows its word. We won't go back on our promises. 
said that fourth step nether passage expert, one of the blood race's young experts walked to the front of the cage. He was another large expert who seemed to specialize in power. The runes on the cage shattered, releasing the human. His manifestation burst into existence, unleashing a wave of runes that poured toward him, strengthening him. After that, he smashed a fist at his opponent. This fellow's quite powerful. Long Chen was startled. The support of his manifestation had caused his power to far exceed Long Chen's expectations. Boom. His fist was like a star, and his opponent was knocked back despite being prepared. After a punch, he turned and swung his leg like a whip. Although his large body looked too bulky and clumsy, his actual movements were quick and agile. The blood race expert was struck before recovering from the kick. He hastily raised his elbow to block. As a result, his arm shattered, and the human's kick landed on his neck. A clear cracking sound came from it. The human expert grabbed his opponent's neck, his eyes blazing with fury. You won. After beating two more, you can leave peacefully, said the fourth step nether passage expert. However, before he could finish speaking, that human crushed his opponent's head. Courting death, the fourth step nether passage expert furiously waved his hand. A black and white chain shot out. Damn blood race. Just wait. The human race will sooner or later erase you from this world. The human roared. But he was unable to escape the chain. It then tightened around him. Crushing him. That chain made Long Chen's expression change. The three nether passage experts that had attacked him had also used that chain. It was a chain condensed from the laws of life and death. Even with all that human's power, he was unable to break one. Someone from the blood race then stabbed him in the head. He immediately died. After pulling out the saber, a human-shaped mark had appeared on it, still moving. He had extracted that person's soul essence. At this time, the fourth step nether passage expert loudly said, This martial demonstration is over. Now you should realize that the human race from the other worlds are no longer the old humans you're used to. They've grown stronger. If you judge them using historical standards, you'll be the ones to die. Although the blood race will be the victor no matter how strong they are, in the end, only the ones living will be able to savor victory. The dead will simply be dead and used as fertilizer. The blood race was currently speaking their language, but Long Chen had killed plenty of them and undergone many soul searches. Understanding their language wasn't difficult. All right, you can go. Bring the final batch of offerings to the divine fetus, ordered the fourth step nether passage expert. At that time, a particular group of the blood race holding special tools went off in a certain direction. Let's go take a look at what they're doing. Long Chen glanced at Dong Mingyu. The two of them went around the blood race's experts. Following that group, chapter 2270 once more descending upon the giant egg to be safe, Long Chen and Dong Mingyu went around in a giant loop before going in the direction of that group. Fortunately, that group wasn't going too fast. Two hours later, the two of them were stealthily on their tail. Big brother Long Chen, what is it? Dong Mingyu saw that Long Chen's expression was a bit off. I think I know what the divine fetus that the blood race is talking about is. The direction they were going seemed to be the mountain range containing the mysterious giant egg. However, the magical beasts that had littered this area were now gone, leaving only some blood stains on the ground. They had most likely been killed. The group that they were tailing eventually stopped at a circular mountain range. The mountain range remained the same, but the surroundings had completely changed. There was a giant sacrificial altar set up at the peak of the mountains. The blood race experts stopped at the altar. They respectfully knelt and prayed, then placed the cases they were holding on at the altar before stepping aside. The altar's runes lit up, and the cases were opened. Blood shot out of the cases, followed by powerful spiritual strength. The spiritual strength and blood seemed to be on the verge of exploding, but a barrier of light came from the altar, sealing them. That's human essence blood and soul essence. There's also bone essence. What is the blood race up to? Even Dong Mingyu, a peerless assassin, felt a chill at this sight. The earth trembled. A majestic aura rose and swallowed the blood and spiritual strength. After seeing that, the blood race experts left. Once they were gone, Long Chen and Dong Mingyu stealthily approached the altar. From the altar, 
Long Chen could see that there were four such altars set up in the mountain range. Every altar had a beam of divine light connecting it to the mountain range, but that area was covered in mist. The only thing that could be sensed from within was a terrifying aura. Big Brother Long Chen, do you know what's going on here? There should be a giant egg down there. I merged Little Snow's crystal core with the original soul. Let's go take a look. Long Chen held on to Dong Mingyu's waist and took out a rope. The two of them jumped into the pit. Last time, Long Chen and Meng Chi had fallen inside. Due to the special laws here, it was a no-flying zone. No magical arts could allow someone to float here. The two of them rapidly descended. After an incense stick's worth of time, they reached the divine pool. However, at this time, the old divine pool had almost dried up. All that divine life elixir was used up. As for the giant egg that had been floating in the pool, it was now floating in the air. The glossy eggshell was now covered in blood runes. As for the eight chains binding it from back then, they were still present, but four more had been added. Those four connected to the altars on the mountain peaks. Long Chen still didn't understand the secrets of the altars. He didn't dare to climb onto them, so he had chosen to jump down. You er, what's wrong? asked Long Chen. It, it's nothing. This egg's just frightening Dong Mingyu's heart was pounding hard. That wasn't actually from fear, but from being held by Long Chen. He had held her tightly while descending, and various emotions had risen in her heart due to it. She hastily changed the subject, blushing. Long Chen's focus was on the giant egg, so he didn't notice. Examining the chains, he sensed an endless flow of energy entering the egg from them. The energy coming from the four altars in particular was immense. Long Chen slowly walked over until he touched the egg. As a result, he instantly felt a terrifying pressure crash down on him. His hair stood on end, and his robes blew in a powerful wind. This was just an instinctual reaction from the egg. It wasn't malicious. However, the immense pressure still gave Long Chen a feeling of mortal danger. Its power is even more terrifying than before Long Chen was deeply shaken. Last time, the giant egg clearly hadn't been this powerful. Otherwise, he and Meng Chi wouldn't have been able to send Little Snow's soul inside it. After hesitating, Long Chen clenched his teeth and sent his spiritual strength inside the egg. The countless blood runes covering the egg instantly lit up. It was as bright as a sun, and its light soared up above the mist. Long Chen coughed up a mouthful of blood and was blown back. Dong Mingyu jumped and caught him. Not good. Such a huge disturbance will draw out the blood race's experts. Dong Mingyu's expression changed. The entire mountain range was rumbling. A pillar of blood-colored light was soaring into the clouds. The blood race's experts would quickly rush over. Long Chen hadn't expected such a thing. He had hoped to connect to Little Snow's soul. As long as Little Snow's soul was present, it should have recognized him. To have such a reaction instead, Long Chen's heart dropped. Could it be that Little Snow's soul had been consumed? There was no time to think about that. He grabbed Dong Mingyu and began rushing back up. Just as they were about to reach the top, Long Chen's expression changed. He sensed several terrifying auras rushing over. They were fourth-step nether passage experts. If they went up, they would definitely be noticed. Against seven fourth-step nether passage experts, even the lightning domain's dragon king couldn't save them. Furthermore, there were too many experts on the other side. It was unknown if he would even manage to summon the dragon king. A fourth-step nether passage expert could easily interrupt him if given the chance. Long Chen ran back, landing on one of the chains. He ran toward the cave that it came out of. As a result, he was blown back by a terrifying force when he reached that cave. There was an invisible current within the cave that he couldn't go against. Long Chen's expression was growing worse and worse. This time, he really had thrown himself into his enemy's net. He rushed to the bottom of the giant egg, hoping to find a channel they could go through. But it was once more a dead end. Just at that moment as countless supreme experts gathered above and there was nowhere to go, a single ray of light shot out of the egg and enveloped Long Chen and Dong Mingyu. Long Chen felt space twist, and he appeared within a mass of primal chaos. This scene delighted him. Little Snow, is that you? Suddenly, Long Chen noticed he was standing atop a giant head. It was a giant white wolf, which only had a thin layer of down covering it like a baby. 
It was immersed within the laws of this place. This was the space within the giant egg. He had come inside spiritually before. For the two of them to be drawn inside now, it had to be little snow. A very faint spiritual fluctuation struck Long Chen's mind. Long Chen clenched his fists. Tears almost falling from his eyes. Little Snow had responded. But the current Little Snow was still in a fetus state and couldn't communicate. Little Snow was still present and had taken control of this body. Now, Long Chen was at ease. Suddenly, Little Snow sent him a message that made him bend down and place a hand on the giant wolf's head. After that, a clear image appeared in Long Chen's mind. It was what was happening outside the egg. The seven fourth step nether passage experts had all rushed over. They were examining everything in the surroundings. Curious. Why would the divine fetus be startled awake? Just at this moment, the egg once more lit up, releasing rays of divine light. Long Chen knew that Little Snow was doing so intentionally. Long Chen's aura had startled Little Snow awake from a deep slumber, resulting in a change in the giant egg. Perhaps we haven't been giving it enough energy. The divine fetus is still hungry. Let's increase the amount of energy, said one of the seven elders. That's likely. The divine fetus is at the crucial moment of condensing a divine core. It needs more energy. But the Martial Heaven Alliance's side has the sovereign's will protecting them. We're at too much of a disadvantage fighting them. So we have less energy to provide the divine fetus. Perhaps this is an instinctual reaction to hunger. Should we report it to above? Absolutely not. If they learn that we've stalled the divine fetus's development, we'll all be heavily punished. Then what do we do? We can't keep sacrificing our warriors against the Martial Heaven continent. We're just sending them essence blood. If there's no other way, we can use the training people. Don't we still have a few prisoners from the Blue Star continent? Release them and have our warriors hunt them down. That way we can use their heads as rewards and kill a portion. That's the only way that we'll have enough energy to nourish the divine fetus. Before the true battle against the Martial Heaven continent, that's our only choice. The others all nodded, seeming to agree with this elder. The seven of them left along with the other experts that had rushed over. Chapter 2271 Deciding to help when the blood races experts left. Long Chen and Dong Mingyu finally relaxed. It was a good thing that Little Snow had pulled them into the giant egg or they would have been finished. Long Chen sent his spiritual strength into Little Snow's mind C, but the majority of Little Snow's consciousness was still in a deep slumber. Long Chen's spiritual strength spread to Little Snow's Yuan spirit without any struggle. What shocked Long Chen was that Little Snow's Yuan spirit was incredibly powerful. It possessed its own divine nature, similar to God energy. To have his spiritual strength go so closely to Little Snow's Yuan spirit was very dangerous. If Little Snow resisted, then Long Chen's own Yuan spirit would be damaged. Long Chen had never encountered a Yuan spirit as powerful as his own on the Martial Heaven continent, but now he found that it was minuscule in front of Little Snow's. Little Snow's Yuan spirit was still mostly in slumber, but it still gave him a feeling of immense pressure. Countless scenes began to appear in his mind. Long Chen came to a general understanding of what Little Snow had gone through after entering the giant egg. Little Snow's soul had merged with the original master of this egg. The original master's soul had been in a befuddled state, and after merging with it, Little Snow's soul had come to be the dominant one. It could be described as a kind of possession. Through Little Snow's memories, Long Chen saw the scene of the blood races experts slaughtering the original magical beasts and life forms that had been in the surrounding areas. After they were killed, an endless stream of nutrients was sent down through the chains and absorbed by the egg. It was at that time that Little Snow's body had started to rapidly grow. It was originally just a tiny fetus, but now its body was gigantic, with its bone and flesh fully formed. Right now though was the most important part. The egg needed a huge amount of energy to condense a core. Powerful life forms were being slain and having their essence absorbed by the chains to nourish the egg. Little Snow had been in a deep slumber this entire time, with only intermittent moments of being aware of the outer world. However, after all these nutrients, a fraction of its soul had started to awaken. Long Chen noticed that the moment that a flood of nutrients had entered the giant egg was the same time as when the blood race had attacked the Martial Heaven continent. 
It seemed that Little Snow was the one who had benefited the most from that battle. Without an ocean's worth of energy, Little Snow's incredibly powerful body couldn't move. Just now, drawing Long Chen and Dong Mingyu into the egg was Little Snow's limit. It had used up quite a bit of energy, and Little Snow's spiritual strength was starting to fall into a slumber again. After learning this, Long Chen couldn't help being shocked. Just what kind of terrifying origin did Little Snow's current body possess? This giant egg had been here for an unknown number of years. It had been constantly nourished by the yin-yang world's life energy, and now even the pool of divine life elixir had been absorbed by it. The powerful life forms within the yin-yang world had been slaughtered to feed it. Furthermore, the countless experts of the blood race that were killed in battle were also feeding it. Despite all that energy, Little Snow was still not fully grown. Just maturing an egg had used up all this energy. That was a horrifying concept. When Little Snow came out of the egg, just what kind of existence would it be? Little Snow, don't rush. I'll help you. We'll meet again soon. Long Chen gently rubbed Little Snow's giant head. He thought of their hopeful aspirations when he had left the Phoenix Cry Empire with Little Snow. Stepping into the unknown cultivation world, Little Snow had always accompanied him. After seeing Little Snow with a new body of such immense power, Long Chen's heart was burning with various emotions. The slightest spiritual fluctuation once more came from Little Snow as if in response. Little Snow, send us out. I'll work hard to help you wake up, said Long Chen. Without Little Snow's help, they couldn't leave the egg. He sensed that Little Snow was unwilling to send them away so soon after meeting again. Long Chen didn't know how to comfort Little Snow. After an incense stick's worth of comforting and rubbing Little Snow's head, space twisted. Long Chen and Dong Mingyu appeared outside the egg. Long Chen rubbed the egg. He sensed that Little Snow's Yuan spirit had fallen into slumber once more. Little Snow had used up much of its energy to move them in and out. Little Snow, we'll meet again outside. Long Chen gently kissed the egg and left unwillingly with Dong Mingyu. The two of them climbed up and saw that there wasn't a single person in the surroundings. Thinking about it, that was reasonable. With how terrifying Little Snow's egg was, who would dare to touch it? There was no need to guard it. Big Brother Long Chen, are we going back? Dong Mingyu felt that their mission had been accomplished. No, we have something else to do. Long Chen pulled Dong Mingyu deeper into the Yun Yang world, vanishing amongst the mountains. Mountains collapsed as a wolf-like pack of the blood races experts chased after a man. That man's manifestation was active behind him, and his main focus was on blocking a red-haired man as he fled, while at the same time staving off the others. The red-haired man was extremely powerful. There were chains wrapped around his body. However, his true power was inferior to the human. It was just that they completely outnumbered him. All the humans' attempts at using magical arts were interrupted, and he was now covered in wounds. Damn blood race, you won't have good deaths, roared the human. His aura was growing weaker as he fought. Even his manifestation was shuddering like it was on the verge of collapsing. He knew that he was doomed, but he was still unwilling to give up. Even in despair, he continued to fight. Too bad you won't see that. Your head can be traded for a hundred high-grade spirit roots. Ha <laughs> ha. Go in peace. The red-haired man laughed and unleashed a powerful attack with both chain-wrapped fists. The human barely managed to block his attack when he was struck from behind by another blood race expert, causing him to hack up blood. These blood race experts weren't using deadly weapons. In the distance. There was another group of them wearing different robes. They held bizarre tools. This group specialized in dissecting human corpses, extracting their spirit root, essence blood, and soul essence. They had to be near to extract those things before they lost their value. Even as a ghost, I won't let you off. The human suddenly turned and unleashed a vicious punch. This punch contained all his power. Before dying, he wanted to drag a few of them down with him. This one punch killed over ten of them. After that one punch, he no longer had the slightest bit of energy. He was powerless to resist the red-haired man's next attack. Just as he knew that he was about to die. Just as he memorized the face of the red-haired man so that he could haunt him. A flash of cold light flew by. The red-haired man's head was now held by someone in a cloak. What the human was startled and delighted. 
He knew that this person was someone from the human race. Before he could make any reaction, he was grabbed by a powerful hand and sent into the sky. World Extermination Flame Lotus A giant flame lotus exploded in their midst. Water-like flames devoured heaven and earth. Those blood race experts didn't even know what was going on before they were devoured by the flames and incinerated. Only a few of the stronger ones were able to escape the flames. However, before they could flee far, they were shot down by lightning arrows. In just a few seconds, all of them were killed. The human stared in shock at the two figures who had saved him. He knew that those blood race experts had all been elites, and yet they had been killed instantly. You are. Upon seeing their faces, he was confused. He also saw that he was different from Long Chen and Dong Mingyu. Now's not the time to talk. Let's leave first. Long Chen took out a halberd and smashed it into the ground, creating a giant hole. A nearby mountain was pierced, and river water began to fill the hole. This way, the scars of the battle were temporarily covered up. The entire Yunyang world was currently a hunting ground, so no one should have a reason to check this place in particular. After that, the three of them left. Chapter 2272 Luo Chu in the Martial Heaven Continent within a hidden cave. That person stared in shock at Long Chen and Dong Mingyu. Yes, we come from the Martial Heaven Continent. Based on your appearance, you must come from another continent. Correct asked Long Chen. Only then did that person understand. He nodded, saying that he came from a place called the Blue Star Continent. After asking some questions, Long Chen learned that the Blue Star Continent was similar to the Martial Heaven Continent in that it had been attacked by the Blood Race. However, the Blue Star Continent's war was much more intense. The Blood Race had occupied over half the land. The current Blue Star Continent's human race was relying on a natural stronghold to stop the Blood Race's invasion. The terrain there made it easy to defend, or the human race would have already been overrun. That person introduced himself as Luo Chuan. He was the top genius of one of the sects of the Blue Star Continent. Due to a sudden attack from the Blood Race, his sect had fallen into enemy hands. He had been unwilling to flee on his own and had bitterly defended the sect, allowing the other disciples to flee. As a result, he had been poisoned and captured. According to Luo Chuan, the Blue Star Continent had just gone through its own chi flow eruption. His generation was the continent's strongest generation. Originally, they had possessed the confidence to handle the blood race, but the blood race's sudden attack caught them off guard. When he explained, he was full of hatred. Due to the spatial limitations of the connection between the Blue Star Continent and the Yun Yang world, Fourth Step Nether Passage experts were unable to enter the Blue Star Continent. That made it easier to face the blood race even though they had invaded the continent. Does the Blue Star Continent have any potential sovereign experts rising? Asked Long Chen. Sovereigns? What are they? Asked Luo Chuan. Only then did Long Chen learn that not all continents had experts on the level of sovereigns. The Blue Star Continent might be a human continent, but it was still different from the Martial Heaven Continent. In the Blue Star Continent, there was only the human race. Unlike the Martial Heaven Continent with its Xuan beasts, the ancient races, and the other powers. The Blue Star Continent's experts were also powerful. Due to never going through miserable wars like the Martial Heaven Continent, many of the sect's ancient inheritances remained. Brother Long, although it's hard for me to ask this of you, I must. Can you save the other experts of the Blue Star Continent? Over a hundred of us were captured, but based on your explanation, the majority of them have probably been killed. Our last batch had 37 people. We were viewed as prey and released into the Yun Yang world Luo Chu and suddenly shut his mouth as rumbling rang out. A group of the blood races experts whistled by. They were clearly searching for the Blue Star Continent's experts that they had released. After they passed, Luo Chu and continued. You've also seen that there's no chance of us escaping against the blood races giant army. I hope you can help us. Long Chen shook his head and sighed. You're overestimating me. I was almost noticed when I entered the Yun Yang world. If someone noticed my tracks, it would be difficult for me to flee with my own life. Long Chen was aware of his own abilities. It wasn't that he didn't want to save them. After all, they were all part of the human race. Furthermore, they were enemies of the blood race. 
saving them would be helping his side as well. But Long Chen was truly powerless against the endless army of the blood race. Luo Chuan was disappointed, but he also knew that this request was excessive. If fourth step nether passage experts were drawn over, Long Chen would be killed. Sorry for asking that of you, Brother Long. You saved my life, but I probably won't have a chance to save you. When I return to the Blue Star Continent, I must rejoin the battle against the Blood Race. I suppose that can help us drawing some focus away from the Martial Heaven Continent, said Luo Chuan. You, you can return to the Blue Star Continent asked Long Chen, surprised. Yes, our astral spaces are connected to the Blue Star Continent. As long as we sacrifice a portion of our astral spaces, anyone from the Blue Star Continent can condense a transportation formation to return. If that's true, then I feel like we can try it out, said Long Chen. Try it out. Luo Chuan was delighted. If you can go back on your own like that, we might be able to save the others, said Long Chen. I thought that you would need to find the passageway back to your world just like the Martial Heaven Continent. If that was the case, there would be no way to bring you all throughout the yin-yang world. But if you can return on your own, it'll be much simpler. If we launch a sneak attack, we can get you all away before the blood race can react. Brother Long, I should be open with you. Creating such a transportation formation will require a full day and night. I also cannot be interrupted or it would be a waste of all the previous work. Such a thing will definitely be extremely dangerous. So I must warn you, if I caused your death, I wouldn't be able to rest in peace even in death, said Luo Chuan gravely. Long Chen smiled. Luo Chuan really was not bad. He didn't want to con Long Chen in the slightest. I know, but I feel like this risk is worth it. After all, we're all human. We should be united against our enemies. Luo Chuan was extremely grateful. He took a deep breath, and clenching his teeth, he took out a bone tablet. It was the size of a fist and glossy like jade. Powerful spiritual fluctuations came from it. Brother Long, all my treasures have been dragged out of me by the blood race. I was only able to keep this, my sect master's star guarding jade. It was buried deep within my astral space. This star guarding jade is not only a treasure for supporting the astral space's growth, but it also has my nine tribulation sword sect secret art imprinted on it. The Nine Tribulation Sword Art is a technique ranking amongst the top techniques of the Blue Star Continent. I bestow it to you, Brother Long. Long Chen hastily waved his hand. This is a secret of your sect if an outsider like me were to learn of it. Your sect would blame you. Luo Chuan bitterly smiled. My sect? It probably no longer exists. By giving you the Nine Tribulation Sword Art, it can count as entrusting you to pass it on one day. If I die. I would rather not let such a powerful sword art be lost. It doesn't matter who you transmit it to. I trust that they will use it to attack the blood race. And I'm sure my sect's ancestors would support this decision. Then I'll accept it. Long Chen nodded and took the bone plate. Feeling even more esteem for Luo Chuan. Brother Luo. Are you a sword master? I have a sword here. Long Chen suddenly took out a divine item. It was definitely not a bad sword. It might even be classified as better than the swords in the Dragonblood Warrior's hands. That was because their swords were made by Guo Ran so that their power could link. That was where their potential lay. This is a good sword. Many thanks. Luo Chuan seemed to transform into a completely different person. His dispirited air was wiped away. The three of them walked out of the cave. Luo Chuan led the way. The Blue Star Continent's experts required the energy of the core of the continent when condensing their life star. That allowed them to easily sense in which direction their comrades were when they summoned their manifestations. Very quickly, Luo Chuan sensed someone. Long Chen changed his appearance on the way, but thinking about it, he supposed that there was no point. Why would the Blood Race's experts recognize him? That was like recognizing one black leopard amongst millions of them. That was impossible. Long Chen had come into contact with the Blue Ring Blood Race, the Stone Blood Race, and the Golden Horn Blood Race. Other than that differentiation, he couldn't recognize one member of the Blood Race from another. He supposed that it was the same for the Blood Race when it came to the Human Race. As long as he switched out Evil Moon for an ordinary saber, that would already be a perfect disguise. 
the three of them quickly found a group of the blood race's experts attacking a human expert. Dai, Luo Chuan's eyes turned scarlet, and a streak of light shot out of his sword. His sword chi slashed through their midst. What surprised Long Chen was that Luo Chuan's sword attack split apart even the laws of heaven and earth. With a sword in hand, Luo Chuan was exceptionally powerful. Although his attack wasn't as sharp as Yu Zifeng's, there was surging lightning on top of his sword. From that lightning, Long Chen sensed a familiar aura. It was the aura of heavenly tribulation. Is the nine tribulation sword art connected to heavenly tribulation wondered Long Chen. The blood race's experts were cut down by Luo Chuan's sword. The lightning on top of it targeted the soul. So even if his sword was blocked, the defender's soul might still be injured. Luo Chuan, don't bother with me. Run. The human being besieged shouted. And as a result of that distraction, he took a fist in the chest and coughed up blood. The attacker had barely pulled back his fist when a dagger appeared right next to his neck. Startled, blood chains appeared on his neck. The chains were cut by the dagger, and blood spurted out of his neck, but his head was not severed. The blood race expert roared, and more blood chains appeared, protecting him. He transformed into a giant ball of chains and rolled away. Knowing he had encountered some powerful enemy, he chose to retreat before anything else. Boom. That ball of chains had barely rolled anywhere when it was kicked back. Long Chen's saber chopped down like a bolt of lightning. Slicing that ball of chains and the blood race expert inside in two. Chapter 2273 Luring enemies with one blow of split the heavens. Long Chen killed not only the blood race expert but also cut the entire battlefield in two. All the blood race experts in the path of his attack were blown apart. As he killed, he activated an essence blood gathering formation disc made by Xia Chen. As he gathered the essence blood. He sensed their life energy not dissipating into thin air but actually being absorbed by the ground. The chains were absorbing that energy and sending it to the giant egg, nourishing little snow. Sensing this, Long Chen thought of the person that had been slumbering within the depths of Devil Spirit Mountain. The heaven-flipping seal had been under its head, and Bao Buping had switched it out with a chamberpa to use as a pillow. Little Snow's giant egg was so terrifying and that slumbering person was about the same. Long Chen suddenly felt a chill. He thought of the giant human skull bound by countless chains he had seen at the bottom of the immemorial path. He had only managed to see it thanks to the eastern wasteland bell. Was that also a life form being nourished by countless other life forms? Just how many secrets were hidden within this world? How many horrifying schemes existed? Big Brother Long Chen called out Dong Mingyu. Long Chen came out of his thoughts. The blood race experts were fleeing in every direction. Dong Mingyu and Luo Chuan were chasing them down. And now Long Chen also attacked. Working together, they were able to kill all of them. Let's go. The person they had saved recognized Luo Chuan. Long Chen gave him a medicinal pill to help him recover and also picked out a weapon he specialized in. A divine spear. The four of them rushed for an incense stick's worth of time and found someone who was on his dying breaths at the bottom of a mountain. He was already exhausted from being chased down by the blood race. However, he had managed to leave behind some fake tracks to draw the blood race away. While he hid within the mountain, his injuries were extremely severe. Even with the pill that Long Chen gave him, he barely recovered enough to keep himself alive. He wouldn't be able to help with the fighting for now. With one person carrying him, the five of them continued searching while ducking the blood race's experts. After five days, Luo Chuan managed to find seven of the Blue Star Continent's experts. With their group growing, they stopped dodging the blood race's experts, and instead began hunting them down. That was because at this time, the blood race had also sensed something wrong. Too many of their members had been dying during this period and there were various signs that the Blue Star Continent's experts were gathering. As a result, the blood race increased the scale of their hunt. However, the yin-yang world was too large. This original game of cat and mouse had become too bloody. Long Chen's group continued to hunt down the blood race's experts. Long Chen calculated that they had killed a few hundred thousand elite experts, and now he had several VATs of their essence blood which belonged to the elites of the blood race with higher quality bloodlines. So more immemorial essence blood could be refined from it. 
The Blue Star Continent's experts were all very grateful to Long Chen. Upon learning that he came from a different world, they also transmitted their sect's strongest techniques to him. Their thinking was the same as Luo Chuan's. If they died, they hoped that someone would be able to use their techniques to kill more of the blood race. That would be their revenge and a way for the fallen members of their sect to also get some vengeance. Long Chen was impressed with them. After being saved, their first reaction had all been to save more people rather than to immediately flee back to the Blue Star Continent. As time passed, more of the blood race's experts gathered into large groups to search for them. As for Luo Chuan, he had managed to find more people, and their group had now grown to 19 members. Unfortunately, on the way, they had been noticed once by two large groups of the blood race. Combined, they had possessed hundreds of thousands of experts. In that battle, three of the Blue Star Continent's experts had fallen. That had been an extremely intense battle. There were tens of thousands of elites and hundreds of the blood race's top experts. Long Chen estimated that those few hundred were almost on the same level as the Golden Horn Blood expert he had slain in the opening battle. He guessed that they were all young kings of the blood race. At that time, Long Chen had killed 37 of them, only to be badly wounded himself. Fortunately, with Dong Mingyu's assistance, they managed to escape. Brother Long, we can't keep searching. There probably aren't any more survivors. The enemy is also wary. At this rate, we'll sooner or later be found by their full forces. The only good thing is that their fourth step nether passage experts still haven't come. We should prepare to use the world crossing transportation formation art. Brother Long, you should leave. After they found a relatively safe place, Luo Chuan said that he could no longer sense any other auras of people from his continent. They had probably met their end. At this point, it would be a victory for them as long as they could leave the yin yang world alive but they would require a full day and night to activate the world crossing art. That was far too long. At any time, the blood race might find them. Luo Chuan didn't want to implicate Long Chen. Hence, he indicated that Long Chen should leave now. If they could escape, then good. If they couldn't, then at least they could kill more of the blood race's experts. Long Chen shook his head. It won't even be half a day before you're found here. I know a bit about setting up formations. So perhaps I can help. What Long Chen knew about formations was all thanks to watching Xia Chen set up his formations. But he also had formation discs that Xia Chen had given him, and he knew how to use them. He could set up an illusory formation to hide them. A formation master wouldn't be tricked. But since the blood race wasn't familiar with their formation arts, there was definitely a chance of success. Long Chen found a mountain range and placed over 10 formation discs among them. He managed to set up an illusory formation. But if Xia Chen were to see what kind of clumsy formation Long Chen had set up with these formation discs, he might just cough up blood. I'll leave it like this. From a distance, Long Chen nodded. He didn't see any flaws. Big brother Long Chen, if we go back now, it should be easy, said Dong Mingyu. The blood race was busy searching for the Blue Star Continent's experts. Taking advantage of this timing would make it much easier. We can't leave yet. If Luo Chuan's transportation formation is interrupted, they'll all die here. Let's find a place to keep watch. Long Chen left with Dong Mingyu, leaving the Blue Star Continent's experts to set up their formation. He found a mountain top where he could still see his illusory formation but was still far away enough. This was the best spot. Dong Mingyu didn't say anything. Her bright eyes looked at Long Chen. What is it? Asked Long Chen. Dong Mingyu smiled and hugged his arm. Big brother Long Chen is definitely the kindest person in this world. I'm liking you more and more. I definitely like being liked by you. But what do you mean? Kindness? It seems that in the entire Martial Heaven continent, there aren't many people who would use that word to describe me. Long Chen smiled. Amongst the Martial Heaven Continent's experts, he was called a murderous, vicious, ruthless killer, not kind. He, that's because they can't see Big Brother Long Chen's good side. Would those fake heroes of the continent risk their lives to save people completely unrelated to them? Even Luo Chuan and the others don't know that you're planning on risking your life to increase their chances of getting away. 
compared to those people who have to announce it every time they do something nice as if they're afraid others won't know how great they are. Big Brother Long Chen is the real hero Dong Ming Gaiyu looked at Long Chen worshipfully. Long Chen rubbed her head. Seeing that pure smile of hers, he saw a hint of childish innocence. You are, you're really beautiful Dong Ming Gaiyu blushed happily. She hugged Long Chen's neck, murmuring, Thank you for not turning your back on me. Why would I do that? Asked Long Chen, startled. Because, my body will never grow up, whispered Dong Ming Gaiyu. Foolish girl. How could I do such a thing? Amongst those big sisters, you're unique. You also have a unique spot in my heart. Long Chen leaned down and kissed Dong Ming Gaiyu on the forehead. That touched upon a soft spot in Dong Ming Gaiyu's heart. Long Chen and Dong Ming Gaiyu hid themselves. With Dong Ming Gaiyu's aura concealing art, the blood races experts went by them several times without noticing. Whenever they went near the place where the Blue Star Continent's experts were hiding themselves, Long Chen's heart would clench, but fortunately, they didn't notice. Eventually, when he calculated that Luo Chuan and the others should be about to succeed, a group of thousands of blood race experts appeared and looked like they were going straight to the mountain range that the Blue Star Continent's experts had hidden themselves in. Their speed showed that they were starting to panic. If they charged directly over, then they might be able to notice some clues. My luck couldn't be this bad. Long Chen cursed and then stood. He suddenly rushed away with Dong Ming Gaiyu, drawing the attention of the blood race experts. They all turned and chased after them. Chapter 2274 Layers of Blockades As soon as Long Chen revealed himself and fled, all the blood race experts shot after him. At the same time, countless attacks rained down on him, pulling Dong Ming Gaiyu. Long Chen repeatedly dodged. Suddenly, a group of the Blood Race's elite troops appeared in his path. He changed direction, only to have another group block him before he got far. He was forced to go in another direction. More and more of the Blood Race's experts converged on them, but Long Chen continued to weave through them, not allowing them to surround him. Boom. Suddenly, a giant mountain in the distance exploded. Spatial energy converged into a giant portal. The Blood Race's experts were startled and hastily looked over. They saw Luo Chuan and the others in the air, surrounded by spatial runes. The void twisted around them as they had finished their transportation formation. Luo Chuan and the others shouted upon seeing Long Chen and Dong Ming Gaiyu being chased, but separated by space. Their voices couldn't be heard. They knew that the two of them were winning time for them to get away. The blood races experts immediately attacked Luo Chuan and the others, but before they could reach them, the void shuddered one final time and they vanished. Bastards. The blood race experts roared furiously. This game of cat and mouse had actually resulted in their prey getting away. You two let your comrades leave, so you can die in their place, roared one of the blood race's young kings. Long Chen sneered and grabbed Dong Ming Gaiyu. Lightning wings appeared on his back. We'll see if you have that ability like a bolt of lightning. Long Chen shot at the young king. Evil Moon appeared in his hand and he sent that young king flying with a slash of his saber. Upon seeing Evil Moon and the lightning wings, the blood race experts let out alarmed cries. He's not from the Blue Star Continent. He's from the Martial Heaven Continent even as they cried out. Long Chen shot away, vanishing from sight. Dong Ming Gaiyu held onto Long Chen's back, almost flying off. Big Brother Long Chen's celestial lightning body blink and sundering lightning heavenly wings are so fast together that probably only Big Sister Cloud can keep up, said Dong Ming Gaiyu Novaloon.com Although there was an army of blood race chasing after them, she still felt safe with Long Chen. Long Chen smiled. When it came to this, he knew only Cloud could keep up with him. Of course, this was a skill mostly useful for running, since he liked to fight directly. Many people often forgot about this speed of his. You er, you call Cloud Big Sister, and she calls you Big Sister too, said Long Chen curiously. He, isn't that nice? We're the youngest, so by calling each other Big Sister, we both feel a bit bigger. Dong Ming Gaiyu smiled brightly. Long Chen laughed. To be called Big Sister made them feel bigger. But what about when you called someone else Big Sister? Wouldn't that make you feel small? He didn't know how they calculated that. Sometimes Cloud and Dong Ming Gaia would say funny things accidentally due to how little experience they had with the rest of the world. 
Big Brother Long Chen, the blood race is probably going to block our path back, said Dong Mingyu. The blood race had to have their own communication methods. No matter how fast Long Chen was, he wouldn't be able to outrun the flow of information. Long Chen nodded. That's for sure. But we have to go back. It's been more days than I wanted to be out. Everyone else should be ready to break through to the Nether Passage realm. So we can't tarry. He had entered the Yun Yang world only to see Little Snow and hadn't expected to encounter experts from another continent. Hence, this trip had used up quite a bit of time. However, that investment had come with its own returns. Those experts that he had saved had all given him their strongest techniques. Those techniques were priceless treasures. Many of the Martial Heaven Continent's inheritances had been lost in the Dark Eras, but the Blue Star Continent's techniques were still complete. Long Chen was preparing to pass these techniques to the Dragonblood Warriors to strengthen them. You are, are you afraid? No. Dong Mingyu answered very directly. Why? Because I'm with you. Even a mountain of blades and a sea of fire can be a wonderland if I am together with you. Dong Mingyu smiled innocently, making Long Chen emotional. He was her sky. Perhaps even in the eyes of the Dragonblood warriors, he was their everything. At the same time as he was grateful, he was also aware of just how heavy the burden on his shoulders was. His life did not just belong to him. That's right. As long as I'm here, no one can harm you. Long Chen smiled and suddenly raised an arm. He began to chant. A large flame lotus condensed within his hand. After that, flame energy gathered from every direction, causing the flame lotus to grow larger and larger. Long Chen's speed didn't drop even as the flame lotus grew to the size of a mountain. The surging flames made heaven and earth twist. You er, hold on tight. I'm going to give the blood race and little snow a present. A sinister smile appeared on Long Chen's face. Near the exit, in the area where the sovereign's will couldn't reach, the giant army of the blood race had created layers and layers of blockades. Not even a drop of water could get past them. The seven fourth step nether passage experts were all gathered. They had already received the news. Over ten of the blue star continent's experts had escaped, and the one who had released them was the martial heaven continent's Long Chen. Hearing that it was Long Chen, they gnashed their teeth, especially the three of them that had tried to stop him from killing the Golden Horned Blood Expert and failed. For Long Chen to dare to brazenly enter the Yun Yang world at such a time was definitely an insult to the Blood Race. If he were to escape, all of the Blood Race's dignity would be lost. Practically half of the entire Blood Race's forces had gathered to block the exit. More and more of them continued to gather and report on Long Chen's movements. Just as they received word that Long Chen was rushing over in their direction, their expressions changed. A giant flame lotus had appeared, blazing with power fiercer than the sun. The flame lotus came flying toward them like a shooting star. Even from a great distance, their hair stood on end. When it got closer and only continued to grow in their vision, they realized just how minuscule they were in comparison to it. The sacred chanting ringing out was like an overture of death. If that flame lotus exploded amongst them, perhaps not even their bones would remain. The blood race's experts were petrified with terror, and even the seven fourth step nether passage experts were too stunned to move. Ha ha ha, I, Long Chen, have come from afar. I didn't bring any good gifts, so I hope you don't mind this little expression of my sincerity. Long Chen laughed and suddenly pushed with his hand, sending the flame lotus hurling toward them. Terrified cries rang out, and the blood race's army instinctively fled in every direction. They felt that this flame lotus possessed the power to destroy heaven and earth. These elite warriors had sharp senses toward danger. They could not receive this attack no matter what. Don't panic. We'll handle it. The fourth step nether passage experts finally took action, sending out blood chains that wrapped around the flame lotus. Those blood chains instantly shattered. They had clearly underestimated the flame lotus's power. Shocked, the fourth step nether passage experts hastily switched tactics. From that one attempt, they realized that countless flame blades were whirling within the flame lotus which had broken their chains. Essence blood seals the heavens. Blood chi exploded out of the fourth step nether passage experts. Upon clapping their hands together, giant blood giants appeared behind them. Life and death energy world within the seven of them. 
They all reached out a hand at the same time, slamming those giant hands against the flame lotus. Boom. Heaven and Earth shuddered. The seven blood giants were forced back several steps by the flame lotus, trampling the blood race experts behind them. At the same time, the seven fourth step nether passage experts coughed up a mouthful of blood. Ha ha ha. A group of ants dares to utter such big words? This move of mine required Sovereign Moli to personally suppress it. As for the seven of you, Long Chen laughed and formed a hand seal. Explode. Chapter 2275 Mysterious Killer Following Long Chen's shout, the flame lotus being held back by the seven blood giants began to inflate. You want to detonate it? Keep dreaming. One of the seven laughed, and the blood chains burst out of the seven giants, wrapping up the flame lotus tightly. Working together, the seven of them actually managed to seal the flame lotus. It shuddered inside but was unable to explode. Long Chen formed hand seals, controlling the flame lotus. He suddenly smiled. You're too naive. Just as he said this, a dagger stabbed through one of the seven spots, causing that elder to let out a pain cry. That was Dong Mingyu. She had never chosen to target someone in that spot before. An assassin's goal was to kill the target in one blow. Stabbing the cruel dagger into someone's butt was definitely unprecedented in the Blood Kill Hall's history. This was naturally what Long Chen told her to do. These extremely terrifying old existences in control of Samsara power had a sharp sense of danger. Even for an assassin, once they initiated a killing blow, it would definitely be sensed. However, what Long Chen wanted wasn't for Dong Mingyu to kill them. All he needed was the slightest distraction and Dong Mingyu had done that. With the immense pain from being stabbed by the cruel dagger, that elder was distracted. He instinctively kicked behind him, only to kick thin air as Dong Mingyu had already vanished. His comrades shouted at him. That slight distraction was all it took for their control to be thrown out of balance. The flame lotus once more began to inflate. The seven of them turned green and used all their power to suppress it. Regretfully for them, they were too late. The flame lotus exploded, their blood giants instantly collapsed, and the seven of them were sent flying. Other than the seven of them, the other experts of the blood race had fled into the distance. They had only stopped when they were safe and the flame lotus had been stopped. But even at that distance, the flame lotus's explosion reached them. The world extermination flame lotus was the most powerful technique Long Chen had currently. However, it had its own fatal weakness which was that it took too long to accumulate energy, so it was easily interrupted. The power of this flame lotus was on par with the one that Sovereign Moli had suppressed. It was a five-star flame lotus, Long Chen's current limit. At that time, Long Chen had wanted to use it to wipe out the sea demon race, but Sovereign Moli had appeared and erased it. Even Long Chen had never gotten to experience just how powerful it was. Now, he saw it. This attack broke all laws. Even as the lost tried to fuse back, they were broken once more. Everything within a hundred thousand miles was turned into a domain of death. Within this range, it didn't matter if it was the elites of the blood race. It didn't even matter if it was one of their young kings. They were all incinerated. Just at that moment, the void split open, and one old figure after another shot out. The seven fourth step nether passage experts were badly burned and covered in blood. As soon as they came out, they looked around, only to see the blood race experts standing outside a giant hole like statues. If they had been within the radius of the explosion, they would have forever vanished from this world. Bastards, where do you think you're going? Suddenly, one of the seven of them roared because he noticed two figures rushing away within the twisting space. Boom. The elder sent a giant fist image smashing into the two of them. Those two wretched figures were Long Chen and Dong Mingyu. After detonating the world extermination flame lotus, Long Chen had used Huo Long's power to block a portion of its explosive power, but even then, he had received quite the blow. Furthermore, for Dong Mingyu, he could only receive it head on. Although the world extermination flame lotus was his technique, when it was released, it didn't differentiate between friend or foe. Even with Huo Long blocking a portion of it, Long Chen's bones had been shattered. Dong Mingyu had activated the aura concealing art to help them escape at this time, and if it was during an ordinary time, 
Perhaps they might have escaped right under the eyes of the fourth step nether passage experts. However, those nether passage experts were actively searching for them, so they quickly noticed the spatial fluctuations. That elder's attack instantly exposed them. Run. Lightning wings appeared on Long Chen's back, and they sped away. At the same time, another flame lotus appeared in his hand, and he sent it flying toward the elders. There's another one. The blood races experts were horrified. That flame lotus was definitely much smaller than the first, but it still terrified them. No, it's a fake. One of the seven elders noticed something wrong and smashed it apart with his fist. It exploded, only unleashing a wave of weak flames. The other fourth step nether passage experts were humiliated at their fear and charged after him. Die. Seeing that Long Chen was already too close to the Martial Heaven continent for them to block his path, they unleashed attacks. Seven giant hands slammed toward Long Chen. If struck, not even 10,000 lives would be enough for Long Chen and Dong Mingyu. Boom. The giant hand slammed down upon Long Chen and Dong Mingyu. The earth exploded from the impact. The blood races experts cheered, but then their voices were cut off as if severed by a blade. In the distance, lights flickered. Long Chen and Dong Mingyu's figures reappeared. How is that possible are they ghosts? Why didn't they die? The blood races experts were dumbfounded. They had clearly seen the two of them being struck. That was close. Long Chen took a deep breath, wiping off some sweat. That really had been dangerous. Dong Mingyu was also pale. While holding on to Long Chen just now, she had really thought that they were about to die. A formation disc beneath Long Chen's feet shattered. This formation disc was used for short distance instant transportation formations. Upon entering the Yin Yang world, Long Chen had set up a dozen of these discs that were linked to each other. Upon stepping onto one, he would be instantly transported to the next. The range of such formation discs was not very long. But the good thing was that it could be activated in an instant. Just as the blood races experts had thought that those two had been struck by the giant hands, Long Chen had managed to reach the location of the first formation disc activating it. He had teleported just as the hand slammed down on him. He had been a hair's breadth from dying. Damn it. One of the fourth step nether passage experts furiously unleashed a giant blood sword. Don't. His comrades shouted at him, holding him back. Long Chen had calculated his position perfectly. His current position was within the range of the Sovereign's will. If they attacked, it would trigger a counterattack from the Sovereign's will. Then all of them might be killed. The Elder stopped. He could only furiously glare at Long Chen as he left. Ha ha ha. No need to send me off. I'll definitely return. Long Chen arrogantly laughed at them. The blood races experts gnashed their teeth furiously. One of the young kings roared. Despicable human, we'll let you be arrogant for a few more days. Once your damn ghosts will fades, we'll slaughter you all. Novaloon.com Long Chen didn't reply. He and Dong Mingyu went through the exit. They saw that a large group of experts had gathered on the other side. Most likely, the large movements on this side had alarmed the heavenly dragon Legion. Suddenly, Long Chen's expression changed. With a shout, Evil Moon slashed toward the earth. The earth exploded and a figure flew out, attacking Dong Mingyu with a sword. Boom. Long Chen blocked with Evil Moon and sparks flew. Long Chen's arms shook, and Evil Moon almost escaped his hold. This expert was incredibly powerful. Long Chen staggered back. That person was wrapped in a black cloak. His black sword was like a specter, and after knocking back Long Chen, he once more attacked Dong Mingyu. Space froze. Dong Mingyu was locked down by her opponent's killing intent. She raised the cruel dagger, only to be sent flying as well. Her arm had been shattered. That person seemed to have come for Dong Mingyu. He followed up, appearing beside Dong Mingyu and sending his sword slashing toward Dong Mingyu's neck. Chapter 2276 Attacking the Nether Passage Realm Long Chen appeared in front of the sword, holding Dong Mingyu. The sword landed and he felt the bones in his back shatter. However, at that critical moment, Long Chen had taken out the heaven-flipping seal to protect his back. The sword had landed on the heaven-flipping seal, or Long Chen would have been cut in two. Even with the heaven-flipping seal, Long Chen felt like his body was going to break apart. This person's power was terrifying. 
and he was so fast that there was no time for Long Chen to do anything but use the most basic and clumsiest way to save Dong Mingyu. Long Chen and Dong Mingyu tumbled back, with the heaven flipping seal growing larger and slamming into that person. Boom! The heaven flipping seal was sent flying, even it was unable to stop this person's footsteps. Waves of divine light surged out of the sword as it once more slashed down. Yi Ben Chang. Long Chen suddenly let out a shout and glared at that person. Although he wore a cloak and even had a sinister mask on, his eyes weren't covered. When their eyes met, that person's sword slanted down slightly, while Long Chen sent Evil Moon rushing forward toward his opponent's head. It was a sudden suicidal exchange. Long Chen concentrated all his power into Evil Moon. As long as he stabbed it into his opponent's head, then even with that mask's protection, Long Chen was confident his head would explode. Considering how long Evil Moon was, although Long Chen's piercing strike was unleashed second, due to the slightest sluggishness from when Long Chen had shouted at him, his opponent's sword would only land at the same time as Long Chen's saber pierced his head. The mysterious expert snorted and didn't continue slashing. He directly smashed the hilt of his sword into Evil Moon. Long Chen was sent flying once more, hacking up blood containing his shattered organs. Who's there? At this time, the heavenly dragon Legion's people recognized Long Chen and charged over, unleashing rays of sword chi at the mysterious expert. The mysterious expert was already rushing over to Dong Mingyu, but he didn't have a chance to attack again. He raised his sword at an angle, shattering the attacks raining down on him. His figure twisted, and before the heavenly dragon Legion could surround him, he shot away, vanishing from sight. Big brother Long Chen, are you alright? Dong Mingyu rushed over to Long Chen. One of her arms was still gone and she was covered in blood. As for Long Chen, he could barely sit up. The heavenly dragon Legion's warriors were shocked. Long Chen's combat power had left a deep impression on them, while Dong Mingyu was a terrifying assassin. What person could force them into such a desperate state? In the distance, the blood races experts simply stared in dumbfounded silence, not understanding what was going on. Long Chen had managed to escape their blockade but was almost killed upon reaching his own territory. Long Chen's bones creaked. He circulated the primal chaos space's energy to recover a bit. Only then could he stand. He cupped his fists at everyone. Many thanks for your help. Without your assistance, I'd probably have died today. I'll remember this favor. Long Chen's words were sincere. Without the heavenly dragon Legion here, he and Dong Mingyu would have died. That mysterious expert was too powerful. Long Chen, who was that person? You shouted that it was Commander Yi Ben Chang. But are you sure? Asked one of them. Long Chen shook his head. Actually, it was just a blind guess. I've only fought with one expert on that level and it was Yi Ben Chang, but that person didn't react to my guess, so it's probably not him. Dong Mingyu looked at Long Chen. Long Chen silently tightened his hold on her hand, indicating that she should be silent. That person nodded. He really was powerful, but based on his techniques, he shouldn't be Commander Yi Ben Chang. We've seen him fight, and his fighting style is different from the insidious, concentrated power that person showed. That person seems more like an assassin, and he was targeting this young lady. He was more like someone from the Blood Kill Hall. That's very possible. In any case, you've saved our lives. I won't bother saying extra words. I'll remember this, promised Long Chen. All right then, we'll escort you. You're still injured, so it's best to be careful, said that person. Long Chen didn't decline. They sent out a 500-member squad to protect Long Chen on his way back to the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race's nest. When Long Chen was back, everyone was shocked. When the dragon blood warriors heard that he had been ambushed, they were infuriated. Who was that person? Asked Chu Yaoshi and Lu Ruai and helped heal Long Chen and Dong Mingyu's wounds. It was definitely Yi Ben Chang, said Long Chen. Didn't the heavenly dragon Legion's warriors say that it wasn't him? The Divine Family's people must have seen him fight before and be familiar with his fighting style. Would they lie about this? Asked Chu Yao. No, they weren't covering up for Yi Ben Chang. They also couldn't be colluding with Yi Ben Chang, or they wouldn't have saved us at that critical time. Then, what are you saying? 
the reason I'm sure it's Yi Benchang isn't because of his aura or his fighting style. It's from the intuition of the nine-star hegemon body art. His disguise was perfect. Even his eyes were different. They seemed dark and wise. Completely different from his normal idiotic appearance. It's because my nine-star hegemon body art told me that he was Yi Benchang that I shouted his name. When I did, he clearly reacted ever so slightly. So I'm sure it was Yi Benchang. Long Chen had absolute confidence in the nine-star hegemon body art. Yi Benchang might be able to fool anyone else, but he couldn't fool the spiritual perception of the nine-star hegemon body art. If it really was Yi Benchang, why would he attack Yu Er and not boss directly asked Gu Yang. Men Chi was the one who answered. Long Chen would fight back if the assassin targeted him directly, and he wouldn't be able to kill him within a few moves. But by attacking Yu Er and forcing Long Chen to save her, he managed to have control over the initiative. Those who know Long Chen all know that he would go save Yu Er. It's the smartest tactic. How despicable, said Guo Ran hatefully. Most importantly, he didn't leave behind any proof. Even if Long Chen is sure, it's not possible to confront Yi Ben Chang. We can only swallow this loss, sighed Meng Chi. Gu Yang and the others' expressions were ugly. This loss was difficult to swallow. Long Chen had entered the Yun Yang world, and even the Blood Race's huge army and Fourth Step Nether Passage experts hadn't been able to stop him, but he had almost died to Yi Ben Chang. I'll remember this debt. I'll make sure it's repaid along with its interest when the time comes, but we'll set it aside for now. How is the situation on the continent? asked Long Chen. He had been in the Yun Yang world the past few days, so he didn't know the actual information. The various powers are all silent, and the talented junior generation has vanished. They're all in seclusion. They don't announce when they're going to break through to the Nether Passage realm, but from the news we've received from the Zhuanshan Dao sect and the Heaven Splitting Battle sect, the majority of their disciples are currently attacking the Nether Passage realm. The day after you entered the Yun Yang world, Yi Lingxian also started her breakthrough, said Meng Qi. Long Chen nodded. In comparison to the geniuses of the other powers, the Righteous Path is a level weaker. If the Righteous Path's experts are only starting their breakthrough attempt, then the others probably started earlier. All right then, today, everyone go rest. Tomorrow, we will collectively attack the Nether Passage Realm. Everyone let out a cheer. They had been waiting for this. Just the day before, the final Dragonblood Warrior had touched the barrier. Everyone wanted to advance right now. Only upon advancing to the Nether Passage realm would the Immemorial Essence Blood have any use. They also saw just how powerful experts with Awakened Spirit Blood were. Long Chen, you and you are still recovering. You might not be ready by tomorrow, said Chu Yao. Long Chen smiled. Not a problem. This breakthrough will only require our Yuan spirits to enter the Nether world. As long as our Yuan spirits aren't injured, it's not a problem. Long Chen's body had received heavy injuries, but his soul was fine. Moreover, he also wished to urgently break through. He couldn't get left behind. Only once he broke through would he be able to settle things with Yi Ben Chang. To be safe, that very day, Long Chen brought all the Dragonblood warriors into the wild world. He warned the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race to be safe. If any powerful experts attacked, they had set up a way for them to run. Long Chen didn't want anyone to attack them while they were attacking the Nether Passage Realm. If the Dragonblood Warriors' bodies were killed while their souls roamed the Netherworld, they wouldn't be able to return. From the Wild World, they traveled to the Skyscraping World, reuniting with Yu Ziaokian. Yu Zivan opened up the Skyscraping World's most well-hidden ancestral spirit land for them. Brothers, let's start. Once everyone was gathered, Long Chen took a deep breath. Closing his eyes with everyone else. Chapter 2277 Entering the Netherworld Long Chen reached out and pressed his hands against the back of Meng Chi and Chu Yao's heads. The two of them then spread their hands to touch Tang Wanur, Yi's Hikyu, Lu Ruian, and Dong Mingyu's heads. The four of them then touched Gu Yang, Xia Chen, Guo Ran, and the others' heads. Like this, everyone was connected. Even Cloud and Lu Ruian were within their link. This advancement required sending their Yuan spirits into the netherworld. All their cultivation bases were at the same level. However, 
they couldn't enter the netherworld the same way the old man had brought Long Chen with him. Other than Wild, everyone in the Dragonblood Legion had come. As for Wild, his path couldn't even be called cultivation. His advancements didn't have any realms. Moreover, even Luruian had to make this advancement before reaching higher realms. This indicated that Wild was truly different. Everyone's foreheads lit up as miniature versions of them came out. Those were their Yuan spirits. All their Yuan spirits were shining. Spiritual links tied them together, with all their Yuan spirit energy pouring toward Long Chen. Long Chen's Yuan spirit rumbled and boomed, even with how powerful his Yuan spirit was. Joining with so many Yuan spirits was extremely taxing. This action would definitely be considered fantasy to the outside world. With so many people linked, if any one of them wanted Long Chen's life, they could kill him and everyone else. There were cases where people would make their breakthrough together, but it required absolute trust, as well as a certain agreeability between their Yuan spirits. Even then, such a collective breakthrough could not possibly have more than five people together. Long Chen had underestimated the difficulty of what he was doing. Even though the spiritual agreement between the Dragon Blood Warriors was very high, linking with so many Yuan spirits was extremely difficult. If his Yuan spirit wasn't extremely powerful, he would have been crushed. The preparations are complete. Let's go. Long Chen's Yuan spirit formed hand seals. After that, space shuddered and all the Dragon Blood Warriors' Yuan spirits became engulfed in death energy. To attack the Nether Passage realm required having the Yuan spirit go through death. This was a kind of suicide. If you hadn't comprehended life and death before going through with this step, there would be no rebirth, only death. Only upon touching the barrier and comprehending life and death was it possible to grasp the slightest chance of life upon dying to enter the netherworld. Long Chen and everyone's Yuan spirits vanished. Their bodies slowly collapsed to the ground like lifeless, empty husks. Darkness. Endless darkness. Within that endless darkness, there was no sense of time or space. There was only an icy coldness. Eventually, they saw a gate within the endless darkness. Only when they saw the gate did Long Chen and the others sense their own existence. Did we end up actually dying? Guo Ran looked at his body strangely. He clenched and unclenched his fists. His body had clearly been left in the skyscraping world. However, he felt this body to be his. Even his clothes were the same. Every mark on his skin was the same. But then he clearly remembered his Yuan spirit leaving his body. Then why don't you try looking for your astral space? If you do end up finding it, that would mean that we really died, said Long Chen, his expression changing. Everyone checked their astral spaces. Upon finding that they were still there, they were horrified. Ha 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 ha, Long Chen suddenly laughed, causing everyone to realize he was just scaring them. Tang Wan'er angrily grabbed his neck. How is this the time for jokes? He, isn't it because everyone's too serious? A joke can adjust the mood, said Long Chen. Everyone walked through the gate. The world ahead was a world of mist, and the path beneath them was made of ancient bricks. It stretched off into the void. They curiously examined this world. Gu Yang asked, Boss, is this the netherworld? It's not as frightening as I thought it would be. Through the mist, they vaguely saw what seemed to be buildings. It wasn't a land of death as they had imagined. This is just the entrance. The terror comes later. Boom. Even before he finished speaking, the void not far from them split open. A giant gate appeared there as well. A giant figure came crawling out. It was a bestial figure. Hundreds of meters tall. With strong arms and legs. A burst of blood chi blasted them in the face. What kind of creature is that? Boom. When that thing looked around and saw Long Chen's group. It snorted and bounced away. Quickly vanishing from sight. Everyone looked at each other. Was that someone else attacking the Nether Passage realm? Suddenly, the void split open again. A tiny gate appeared, and from it came a rabbit. A rabbit. Everyone stared oddly. The rabbit was only a foot tall. Its body was snow white, and its ears were raised in high alert. When it saw Long Chen and the others, it instantly vanished. The dragon blood warriors jumped in alarm. That rabbit was so fast that they didn't even see in which direction it went. The void split open once more. A giant gate appeared and from it came out a 30-meter-tall earthen dragon. 
It was covered in spikes that gave off a cold glint, and there was a blood-colored horn on its head that looked especially powerful. The earthen dragon didn't even look at Long Chen's group. It just walked off. After that, another figure appeared. It was a slender woman in emerald robes. She was very beautiful, but she had two antennas coming out of her forehead which was odd. Miss Beautiful Lady, may I ask Guo Ran stepped forward to greet her, only for those antennas to flash. Then a strange force sent him flying back. It was like he had been struck by a wall, and he almost coughed up blood. When he furiously got up to demand what her problem was, she had already vanished. You shouldn't get angry. She was pretty merciful. This is the netherworld, and creatures from all kinds of worlds must pass through here, other than ourselves. We can't trust anyone. For you to suddenly get closer to her, she was naturally wary. To not kill you shows that she's pretty kind, said Long Chen. I was clearly talking to her nicely. Does her conscience not hurt to respond like that? Guo Ran was still irritated. First of all, although she looks similar to us, that doesn't mean that she's from the same race. She might not understand what you're saying. Second of all, Long Chen suddenly paused. Second of all, what, boss, tell me, Men Chi looked from Long Chen and Guo Ran, she covered her smile, Long Chen doesn't feel good saying it, so I'll do it, second of all, your smile is too, how should I put it, wretched, she definitely thought you had some bad intentions toward her, as for why she only knocked you back instead of killing you, one reason is due to her own kindness, while another is because of her wariness of our numbers, what? I don't feel like I'm that bad. Gu Yang, tell me the truth. Is my smile really that of a bad person? Demanded Guo Ran. Gu Yang seriously looked at Guo Ran closely, making him smile with teeth. He shook his head. No, not at all. This smile makes you look far worse than an ordinary bad person. Everyone laughed. Long Chen waved his hand, knowing that Guo Ran had done this on purpose to lighten the mood. Although everyone looked calm on the surface. They couldn't help being nervous. This was the netherworld. Only half the people who entered could leave alive. That was an iron law of the netherworld. Let's get to the important matters. I've come here before. So I can tell you that while the netherworld is terrifying, it's not as exaggerated as rumors say. As long as everyone listens to my directions, we'll be fine. Long Chen led the dragon blood warriors through the path, and they quickly reached a bridge. The bridge had figures in strange robes patrolling. They held chains, and one of them suddenly stabbed their chain through the air, causing a piercing wail. A figure was pierced by the chain and vanished into the mist. The dragon blood warriors jumped in shock. That figure had been hiding in midair, and none of them had sensed it. That was a spiritual entity, and these monsters guard this place, not letting spiritual bodies enter our world. As long as we don't attack them, they won't attack us said Long Chen. Last time when he had entered with the old man, he had seen how terrifying these monsters were. He also had a strange feeling that they were much stronger than the last time he had been here. Everyone carefully walked forward. Just that moment, a snarl came from behind them. Chapter 2278 Standing before the gates of hell Long Chen looked back and saw a strange python rushing over. It had spider-like legs on the upper half of its black body. Two giant teeth flickered with a cold light as it snarled at them. It seemed that the python felt that the dragon blood legion was too slow. Its body was very large, and to the sides were the patrolling monsters of the bridge. It didn't dare to touch those monsters, so it chose to glare at the dragon blood legion. The bridge wasn't wide enough for it to pass even with the dragon blood warriors sticking to one side. It was urging the dragon blood warriors to quicken their pace. However, the dragon blood warriors ignored it. After all, there were too many monsters present. If they ended up crashing into one by accident, that would be troublesome. After two more snarls, the python seemed to be enraged that they were ignoring it. It opened its mouth, and a black sphere shot out at the dragon blood warriors at the rear. Courting death, the dragon blood warriors were enraged. That python clearly knew how dangerous the bridge monsters were and yet still did such a thing. That black sphere was a powerful divine ability filled with the aura of destruction. The dragon blood warriors were forced to dodge. As a result, the black sphere exploded on contact with the ground, 
sending surging black chi waves that sent the dragon blood warriors flying. Others let out infuriated roars. This place was the netherworld, and there was a law preventing them from flying. If they ended up crashing into the bridge monsters, that would be troublesome. The python seemed excited by the dragon blood legion's chaos. It opened its mouth, about to unleash a second attack. Its mouth had barely opened when Gu Yang kicked its jaw, sending it flipping back. With a furious roar, it dragged its long tail against the ground to stabilize. As a result, its tail struck one of the bridge monsters. That monstrosity's chains immediately shot out, piercing the tail. It then pulled, dragging in the huge python's body. The python screamed. They really aren't the same guards as the last time, thought Long Chen. When he had entered the netherworld with the old man, these figures hadn't been so powerful. At that time, he thought that he could handle them. At that time, his cultivation base and power had been much weaker. In theory, at his current level, he should be able to sweep away these monsters. But now he found that they were much more frightening. The python struggled with all its might. Its claws dragged against the bricks, but it was useless. Although they were all spiritual bodies, it was unknown what laws the netherworld had to make them feel like they were in their real forms. Sparks flew as its claws dragged against the ground, and sharp sounds rang out. The monstrosity was expressionless as it pulled its chains back. The cold chains didn't give off any fluctuations, but they were able to drag back such a powerful expert. The python's tail suddenly broke off, unleashing a rain of blood. With its remaining body, it leaped into the air and charged across the bridge. The blood splattered across the bricks and then slowly faded. As for the bridge monster, it acted as if nothing had happened and continued to patrol. The broken bricks and clawed bridge automatically recovered. The python was truly powerful, but even it was unable to retaliate against the bridge monster. In the end, it had severed its own tail to run. The dragon blood warrior's hearts turned cold. After that disturbance, a few dozen other life forms had paused. More and more life forms were entering the netherworld. Long Chen noticed there were more bridges in the distance, just like the one they were on. The heavy mist blocked most of his sight though. This was completely different from when he had entered with the old man. Last time, there had only been one bridge. He had always assumed that there was only one. Was this because the Great Era had come? The netherworld had set itself up for greater capacity? Or was this a different path than the one he had come with the old man? After that disturbance, the dragon blood legion and the other life forms that had arrived slowly crept over the bridge, afraid of touching the patrolling monsters. After passing the bridge, there was only a single path. Upon reaching the end of the path, they saw an endless sea that was the color of the darkest ink. Boss, this aura, it's so familiar, is it? That black water made Guo Ran react. When devils had poured out of the devil abyss, Long Chen had given him death water to use against them, and it had the same aura as this black water. The difference though was that the aura of death coming from this black water was even stronger. Everyone felt a chill. This is death spirit water. If you fall in, you'll definitely die. As a demonstration, Long Chen stuck a divine sword into the water. When he took it out, the portion that entered the water had silently vanished. That scene was shocking. The black water had some floating logs on it that could be used to travel. That was the same as last time. These floating logs were the only way to cross this path leading to the gates of hell. Long Chen had everyone stand to the side, allowing the other life forms to cross first. The other life forms stared at Long Chen and the others for a moment before jumping on. Those floating logs looked very unsteady as they bobbled in the water, but they never sank no matter how heavy the entity jumping on was. How curious. Why do they seem so familiar with this place? Wondered Guo Ran. Perhaps they already know a bit about the netherworld before entering. Unfortunately, for the human race, upon managing to advance from the netherworld, all the memories of it will be lost. There's no way to transmit useful information, said Long Chen. After the old man had come out, Long Chen asked him what he had experienced upon entering the gates of hell. However, the old man didn't remember anything at all. As for Long Chen, upon returning to the Martial Heaven continent, he felt like there was some invisible law keeping an eye on him, not allowing him to mention taboo things about the netherworld. It felt like if he said something, 
It wouldn't just be him that would suffer. The person who heard would also suffer unbearable karma. That was why in the outside world, Long Chen hadn't exposed too much about what had happened in the netherworld. But upon returning, that feeling of taboo had clearly vanished. Boss, let's go too. When those life forms had all vanished into the darkness, Guo Ran spoke up. Don't be impatient. Come, let's distribute the weapons and armor. Long Chen took out bundles with names written on them. Long Chen had taken everyone's equipment before entering the netherworld. The netherworld did not allow them to bring in items from the outside world. But Long Chen was an exception. He had the primal chaos space and was not limited by this. Once all the Dragonblood warriors were equipped, they all felt refreshed. Yu Zifeng in particular was like a completely different person with his sword. Alright, let's go now. There's no need to fear. If anyone causes trouble again, we'll directly hack them. Guo Ran's confidence inflated upon getting his armor again. With this equipment, they had a huge advantage over other life forms that entered the netherworld. Those life forms couldn't bring in objects because their astral spaces were not like the primal chaos space. The human race had quite a disadvantage when entering this world due to not having special physical bodies. Unlike other life forms that used their teeth or claws as weapons, we have too many people, so this path is too dangerous. We'll take a boat across Long Chen took out a giant boat. It was an ordinary flying boat, but Long Chen had covered the outside with the black soil. The black soil could prevent the corrosion of the death spirit water. Seeing that boat, everyone was delighted. They jumped on. However, here, the boat could not fly. The oars were also wrapped in black soil. Over 200 dragonblood warriors rode at the same time, bringing them gliding across the water. From the boat, they could see all kinds of life forms carefully crossing. Those life forms stared at them in disbelief. Some of them accidentally tripped, resulting in their feet falling into the water. Screams rang out, and when they pulled them out, their feet had vanished. As the Dragonblood Legion sped across with the boat, Long Chen saw multiple paths of wooden logs with various life forms carefully creeping forward. Who would have thought that there were so many different life forms other than the ones on the Martial Heaven continent? We really are frogs at the bottom of a well, sighed Meng Chi. They had to have encountered tens of thousands of different life forms, but not one human, let alone someone from the Martial Heaven continent. Eventually, the flying boat reached a nine-colored whirlpool, and they jumped onto the wooden logs. The dragonblood warriors were all stunned by the sight of the nine-colored whirlpool. Long Chen smiled. He had had the same expression as them when he had first seen this whirlpool. Long Chen put away the flying boat. After that, the dragonblood legion descended down the whirlpool through a staircase. Upon reaching the bottom where there was flat land, they saw a path of illusions that went through the waterfall of the whirlpool. Long Chen looked at the surrounding waterfall. This was the core of the Nine Springs. He and Zi Kiankian had been sucked into purgatory from here. Long Chen led the Dragonblood Legion through the passageway, and they quickly arrived at a set of giant gates. The Gates of Hell. Chapter 2279 Nathurgud The gates were so huge that people's hearts shuddered. If they were on the continent, they would probably be engulfed amongst the stars. Black and ancient diagrams covered the gates. Those diagrams weren't of sinister ghoulish faces, but they still exuded a dense air of death. In front of the gates of hell was a sea of various life forms. Those life forms were all silent. That was because upon getting closer to the gates of hell, the dense air of death made them feel like an invisible hand was clutching their throats. Last time I came, I didn't feel such pressure. My realm must have been lacking. This was Long Chen's second time coming to the gates of hell. Last time, although he had been shocked, he hadn't felt such pressure. This feeling was like his life was in someone else's hands. Meng Chi and the others were a bit pale. It felt like there was a law present in control of life and death. They couldn't fight that law. If it wanted them dead, there would be nothing they could do. That wasn't a good feeling. Long Chen looked at the other life forms and found that some of them were in an even worse state. Some of them were shuddering. The Dragonblood Legion slowly got closer. Suddenly, a furious roar came from behind them. Long Chen turned to see the giant python. The giant python's tail was still gone. Perhaps due to the Netherworld's laws, it was unable to heal. 
it was infuriated at the sight of them, and black energy gathered within its mouth. Yu Zifeng snorted and reached for the sword on his back. However, before he attacked, a hand suddenly reached out of the black gates and smashed the python into bits. It had happened so quickly that it felt like it was over before it even began. A terrifying life form was killed without even understanding what was going on. The life forms that were killed here would never return to their bodies. What remained in the outside world of theirs would just be corpses. That hand returned to the gates an instant after killing the python as if nothing had happened. Long Chen and the others suddenly realized why these life forms didn't dare to say anything. The gates of hell had their own automatic attack laws. The great gates were not fully opened, but there was a slight crack. Of course, it was slight in comparison to the giant gates. There were many miles of space. However, too many life forms had gathered here, so they could only slowly enter through that crack. Why does it feel like lining up to reincarnate? Mumbled Guo Ran. All these life forms had terror in their eyes but had no choice but to follow. Hey, don't talk nonsense. You're going to jinx us, rebuked Li Qi. Long Chen said, actually, this is nothing. The path of cultivation is one of no return. It's the same as the Yellow Springs path that we just walked. You want to go back? Just look at the people behind you. They've blocked your path. When you look back, the first one to kill you will be the person behind you. Just like in cultivation, we can only continue to advance. We cannot stop. If we stop, our enemies will advance until you face a terrible fate. Death isn't frightening. What's frightening is dying without being able to decide what time, place, and way you die. Don't we cultivate to control our own life and death? To transcend everything else and be free? However big your aspirations are is however much resistance you'll face. That is something that will never change. Long Chen, in the Zhuangshan Monastery, I asked you about your aspirations. Do you remember what you said? Tang Wan'er smiled. Of course I remember. I wanted to be a new and improved scoundrel with dreams, accomplishments, integrity, and meaning. Long Chen sighed deeply. It's too bad. But after all these years, my dreams, accomplishments, and meaning are still present. But my integrity has been shattered. Men Chi and the others covered their mouths as they laughed. The tense atmosphere lightened quite a bit. Quite a few of the other life forms stared at them with shock and some even with disdain. They didn't understand what these humans were saying, but for them to be laughing in this place where others didn't dare to speak, some of them admired their gods, while another portion sneered at them for being fools. Curious, Chu Yao suddenly said, What is it? Look. It seems like there's a nail missing from the gates, right? It's very conspicuous Chu Yao pointed. Everyone looked in the direction where she was pointing. The nails on both gates were symmetrical, except for one spot where one nail was missing. It couldn't be. Long Chen's eyes almost popped out. Wasn't that the same location he had taken a nail from? How was that possible? After entering the netherworld again, he had found that it was completely different from last time. He thought that he had entered a completely different place. However, seeing the missing nail, he jumped. Before this, he had been comforting others. Now, he was the one who had an urge to flee. Last time, when he had taken that nail, a giant hand had chased him out all the way to the exit, almost killing him. What is it, boss? Do you know what's going on? No, no, I have no idea. I was just wondering who would be so brazen as to take a nail from the gates of hell. Someone took a nail? Impossible. If it was boss who dared to pluck it, I'd believe it. But someone else? I'm confident no one else has such big gods, declared Guo Ran. It's our turn. Be careful, and don't get distracted, whispered Long Chen. Just as they were talking, they had reached the crack between the gates. At that moment, they saw white light from the other side which obstructed their vision. Everyone could only step through with trepidation into that white light. Upon entering the white light, their bodies vanished. Long Chen took a deep breath. Since there was no way back, he could only advance bravely. When Long Chen was enveloped by the white light, he was blinded for a moment. However, when his vision recovered, he saw that he was within a grand palace. The palace was gigantic. He was like an ant inside of it. There were stairs ahead of him extending onwards, and at the end was a beautiful throne. 
Adopt the throne was an icy woman in a black dress looking down upon him. Her hair billowed back like a waterfall. Her blue eyes were like sharp blades, icy and emotionless. She was like a god sitting there. Long Chen almost cried out upon seeing her face. All his hair stood on end. You. Long Chen had never been so nervous that he was tongue-tied. He felt despair. How. Are. You. Long Chen felt like his throat was dry. As dry as if boiling iron was being poured down in it. This person was Len Yuian. Actually. If she was Len Yuian. He wouldn't be so afraid. The main thing was that it wasn't. She was simply someone who looked identical to Len Yuian. But Len Yuian had said that this woman was a god. A nether god. A nether god? As in the god of the netherworld? Long Chen suddenly realized that he had sent himself to his doom. Who knew if he would even be granted the mercy of death now? The Nethergood looked at Long Chen without the slightest emotion. There was no joy or anger. She was motionless, wordless, like she was a statue. Long Chen felt goosebumps exploding all over his body. It was over. Long Chen sensed that she was this world. With just a thought, she could wipe him out of existence. Back in the Martial Heaven continent, he hadn't been able to sense her power. But here. He didn't even have the bravery to resist. She was a god. Resistance was futile. Ah, I see that you're very busy. So I won't take up more of your time. Let's talk another day. Long Chen stared at her for hours before he admitted defeat. He was drenched in sweat. Unable to endure it any longer. Forcing a smile. He slowly retreated. That silent stare was too painful. He felt enough pressure to drive someone insane. Every breath had felt as long as a year. This kind of stare was torture. Long Chen slowly retreated, but the Nethergood still didn't move. Even her eyes didn't blink. She was like a statue sitting there. Has her divine soul left? Long Chen suddenly had a thought. Len Yuian had said that the Nethergood had made countless clones. Her true body's mind had to control those clones. During that time, her soul would be with those clones to control them. This guess made Long Chen's withered guts grow again. Could he capture her true body at this time? However, after thinking about it, he shook his head. What kind of joke was that? This wasn't the Martial Heaven continent. It was the Netherworld. What was he going to use to capture a god? Long Chen slowly retreated out of the palace gates. The gates were hundreds of meters tall, and he didn't know what metal they were made of. They seemed ancient and heavy. Long Chen pushed the gates only to find that they didn't budge. It was like they had grown out of the earth. Long Chen pushed harder with both hands but was still unable to move them. Starting to panic, Long Chen summoned the Azure Dragon Battle Armor. He was able to use all his techniques. But even so, he was unable to shake the gates. Crack. As he increased his force, eventually, it was his shoulder that dislocated. Cold sweat dripped down him. Fuck. What an evil gate cursed Long Chen quietly. Yes, these are the gates of evil. At this moment, an icy voice without any emotion rang out, making Long Chen's hair stand on end. Chapter 2280 The Ability to Kill You Ah, what a good name. Haha, <laughs> Long Chen stiffened. He forced out some laughter. Although he couldn't see his own face, he knew that his current smile was definitely very ugly. These gates are called the holders of evil. Even if you tore down this entire palace, you wouldn't be able to open them. The holders of evil contain the devils and fiends of countless worlds. Every 48,000 years, they will open once, unleashing the souls of those devils upon the hundred domains and thousand prefectures where they will start a slaughter. The Nethergood looked at the giant gates expressionlessly. For the Nethergood to say so much to him surprised Long Chen. It seemed that he had a chance. The Nethergood hadn't directly killed him on sight. Perhaps there was room for talk. However, with her expressionless face lacking any joy or anger, he didn't know what to say. Long Chen was normally able to judge a person's mood and general character with a glance, or at least know what to say to them. However, he felt powerless and minuscule in front of the Nethergood. Can I ask what the hundred domains and thousand prefectures are? Long Chen really didn't know what to say. He simply continued with the topic she had left off, while his head rapidly worked to figure out what he should do. Long Chen stealthily appraised the Nethergood. He hadn't dared to examine her before, but now that they were closer, he saw that her black dress was composed of countless runes. 
Those runes were as tiny as specks of dust. Each of them was moving according to a strange rhythm, as if they represented different laws bowing toward her. The dress was as black as the blackest night, but her chest was as white as snow. The stark contrast was especially intense. The worst thing though was that when he thought about that, his memories of tearing off that dress popped into his mind. Long Chen involuntarily gulped. Within the silent palace, it was like thunder. The Nethergood slowly turned away from the holders of evil to look at Long Chen. She didn't seem angry upon knowing his thoughts. Her sapphire eyes looked at Long Chen calmly. Tell me, how do you want to die? Can I tell the truth? Yes, I don't want to die. The Nethergood shook her head. That's impossible. You blasphemed my body and cast dust over my heart. Without killing you, I cannot undo that knot. So you must die. Long Chen bitterly smiled. Is there really no room for negotiation? No. Death is your only fate, said the Nethergood coldly with supreme divine might. Hearing that sentence, Long Chen somehow felt a kind of joy in accepting his fate. It was as if he could set down all his burdens, as if death was a release. Long Chen actually formed such a desire to kill himself. However, as soon as he thought about it, he awakened from that desire. He was once more covered in cold sweat and stared in horror at the Nethergood. The Nethergood was a bit surprised. You really aren't a normal human. You can actually resist my imperial decrees. Long Chen stared at her in terror. The Nethergood hadn't even made a move but had almost made him kill himself. He felt like his will was weak in front of the Nethergood. Evil Moon appeared in his hand, and he pointed it at the Nethergood. Since you want to kill me, I can fight to the death against you. Although this person looked identical to Len Yuan, she wasn't Len Yuan. She was a god, the ruler of the netherworld. Even knowing that this was the territory of the Nethergood and that he had no chance, he still took a deep breath and calmed himself down. He forcibly condensed his battle intent. Unfortunately, he was like a person trying to fight against the cosmos's river of stars. That was just how great the difference between them was. Holding Evil Moon. He had a feeling that it was as laughable as using a banana to threaten a dragon. The gulf in power made him feel profoundly powerless. You were actually able to bring objects from the outside world into the netherworld? Long Chen, you really are surprising. The Nethergood smiled. That smile was beautiful enough to topple a world, but Long Chen only saw death within it. The Nethergood's will to kill him could not be changed. Long Chen didn't hesitate any longer. He stabbed Evil Moon forward. Evil Moon was just a few inches away from the Nethergood's head. However, it felt like there were countless layers of defense in that small space. His power was quickly exhausted, and at three inches, it felt like he had struck a giant iceberg and could no longer advance at all. Long Chen, these are the laws of the Netherworld, warned Evil Moon. Here, everything must submit to her. You cannot kill her, if you're smart. You'll think of some other way. Even Evil Moon was anxious and helpless against such a terrifying existence. Long Chen muttered inside. Maybe smarts might work against the people he normally faced. But in front of a god? Was that a joke? Divine Ring. Battle Armor. Long Chen's Divine Ring burst into existence. The laws of the world were shattered and the palace trembled. What kind of cultivation technique is this? The Nethergood's expression finally changed. The laws of the netherworld were being broken by Long Chen's divine ring. Evil Moon stabbed toward her head. However, just as it was about to pierce her head, the Nethergood raised two fingers and lightly clamped down on Evil Moon. Long Chen was instantly unable to push Evil Moon forward. Boom. The earth trembled as Long Chen pushed. Evil Moon pushed through the Nethergood's fingers, once more causing her expression to change. She was the ruler of this world. Her power could no longer just be called power. She was the will of the netherworld, ruling the laws of the netherworld. With her fingers, she embodied a lock using the laws of the netherworld. It could be classified as a divine ability, but Long Chen had actually broken through. In all her years in control of the netherworld, she had never encountered such a situation. Split the heavens eight. Evil Moon swung down with a thunderous howl. An explosion of waves erupted. The Nethergood raised her hand, using her palm as a shield against Long Chen's saber. Long Chen felt a powerful backlash and coughed up blood. With just a random blow, Long Chen was sent flying. However, 
the Nithurgad shock continued to grow. When it came down to it, Long Chen was just a mortal. All mortals had an innate reverence for gods, but Long Chen was still fighting fearlessly against her. Furthermore, his attack was not being suppressed by the laws of the netherworld. Instead, it was the laws of the netherworld that were broken. She was growing more and more curious about Long Chen's origins. However, at the same time as her shock grew, she also became bewildered. You know you're not a match for me, and you're still not starting off with your full power? You just lost your only chance to injure me. Just now, Long Chen's surprising power had caught her off guard. There truly had been a chance for him to stat her. But the curious thing was that he still hadn't used his full power. You're a woman I've been with. Although it was the result of many factors and accidents. It's reality. I committed a mistake against you. So you want to kill me for it. Which is understandable. I had a chance to kill you just now. But I let you off. Now, whether I die to your hands or you die to my hands, our grudges can be settled you think you can kill me. The Nithurgad's lips curled into a beautiful smile. It looked disdainful, but it was still very moving. Let alone a mortal like you, even a god would be beneath me in my Nithurgad palace. If you think saying something like that will make me feel sympathy for you and let you off, you're wrong. You should give up on such thoughts. The Nithurgad suddenly vanished. A hand silently reached for the back of Long Chen's neck. Without looking back and without hesitation, Long Chen slashed Evil Moon behind him at exactly the same time as the Nithurgad vanished. Evil Moon swept through the air. After that, a hand appeared where there was originally nothing, and the saber cut through her wrist. A line of blood flowed out of her pale skin. The blood was multicolored and bright. As a result, the palace shook and rumbled. This was the blood of a god. Long Chen had actually injured the Nithurgud. At this moment, the Nithurgud looked at her wound with disbelief. Flickering lightning appeared on top of Evil Moon. Now do you believe it? I really do have the ability to kill you. Long Chen suddenly swung his saber again. A pair of lightning wings appearing on his back and a giant lightning blade shooting out of Evil Moon. It was like a lightning war god had appeared in the netherworld. 